wait, wait, we're, we're oh no, oh no, we, thank you, we are, it's broken, it's broken, <laughs> okay, is it fixed, is it fixed, thank you for the raid, we're back just in time, thank you very much, my audio was delayed by 30 seconds, and they said it looked like a poorly dubbed kung fu movie from my childhood, What's up? You seem to be fixed. Okay, okay. Alex doing the Iron Mon Pokemon raid. Big flex from the king. Alex, how you doing, buddy? I got some good news, and I've got some bad news. First of all, the good news. <laughs> we had a real scuffed start to start the stream. Um, Welcome back, oh they, professional streamer Pete. Don't talk shit. I got Turtles music. Your mic sounds weird. It's okay. We're back. We're going to fix it as we go. But first, Alex, how was your Pokemon stream? Thank you very much for being here. My name is Peter. I'm a streamer in Tokyo. And let me tell you something. Nothing on this channel ugh, ever goes right. And Alex, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Good news is I'll be seeing you soon in the great land of Tokyo Shi. The bad news is Yuki accidentally ate your candy bar. So my present that I got you is 75% eaten. You're out of luck. Hope your stream was great. I know you did some Pokemon, some retro gaming. And let me tell you something. If you're into retro gaming, well then tonight, ah, you're in for a little treat. Not a candy bar treat, that's gone. A PSX Classics treat. Behold, my friends, the great gaming wheel. There we go. It's there it is. All right. It wasn't there for a minute. It's okay. <laughs> it's working. It's hey. okay. We got it. It's there. The gaming wheel. Twisted Metal 2 is there. We have Time Crisis has been added to the board. Disruptor Warhawk. It's got some it's got some fun shit over there. All kinds of good stuff. Cool Borders 2 somehow stayed on the list, which I don't want that to be uh, available. So here's what we're doing tonight. In case it's your first evening or you're kind of curious, Raiders, what's going on here? I'm not a very good retro streamer. That's why I have a big wheel to tell me what to do. But I want to transport back like it's 1997, 8, 99, 2000, right? I don't want to compare these games to all of our modern masterpieces like Horizon and Last of Us and Uncharted. The ground quakes. Thank you very much, Fagunner. I really appreciate that. Thank you for using your Prime here. Power up. Uh, what I want to do is I want to re-examine these games from when they came out and try to have that same enthusiasm of, of getting a personal pan pizza and some Mountain Dew or some Dr. Pepper. And we're playing video games. I mean, shit. I remember the first time I played a PlayStation, I had to rent it from Hollywood Video or Blockbuster. You would get these giant bricks of suitcases that you would carry into uh, home, and you'd have to plug them all up, and you'd get it for like four days. You could get Virtua Fighter, or in my unlucky case, ESPN Extreme Games. And... So fun. Thanks, Mom. I do appreciate it. Um, now, the downside is several things. A lot of these games have not really modernized with us. And number two, the stream is extraordinarily scuffed. For example, I would not be surprised right now uh, if we lost all connection. That's what I feel like. I don't even know if I'm alive. I have no idea what's going on. I could relive Stop. playing Jack Two right. for the for Haven't the. Haven't really been able to check out the stream <laughs> due to work, but happy to see you, Pete. Hey, Tom, Robin, don't you ever have to apologize? I'm the one who missed three weeks. I just appreciate that you know you came by and said hello, and uh, I do appreciate you very much. Thank you, buddy. Sorry about everything, everybody. I don't know. I. It's like here's the thing. I. I'm a, let me just tell you, I'm a professional streamer. I've been doing it for 19 months. I know exactly what to do and when to do it. That's not true because right now I have no idea what's wrong. I've got 6,000 kilobytes upload. It's only 1.3% of my CPU. Oh, I've got a huge forehead, but nothing's inside. So there you go. It's unfortunate. 
But before we begin, I just wanted to give a big shout out to everybody here. How you doing? Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to another thrilling edition of Premiere 2. My name is Peter, and today is a beautiful night in Tokyo, Japan. It's a little rainy. It's a little cold. It's a little cool, which is perfect for my hard-boiled attitude. Have you tried turning your forehead on and off? I did believe it or not and it, it gained an extra centimeter it's like every time the stream breaks uh i go back an uh, inch on my hairline or a centimeter whatever greetings from europe what's up man how you doing hope you guys are doing good um what's up bartek i i was watching alex play pokemon earlier and i i, I can't oscillate between ha ah, I'm trying to think, is there one game that I could play endlessly forever to the same enthusiasm that the Pokemon community seems to have towards that game? The answer I found, quite frankly, is no. What is wrong with you guys? Seriously. How could you only like that game that much? I don't understand. It's, I guess, because it has 100,000 Pokemons and the challenge runs and all that cool shit. I don't... Un I, maybe Castlevania Symphony of the Night or Cool Borders 2. It does have infinite replayability. I should check myself. The, that face when you're talking like... What, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm just not good at Pokemon. But randomizers and Nuzlocks and stuff help. You know, that's a really good point, Dreamer. Uh, the ran And like, you know what? I think the fact that there's been so many generations and there's... Friend. So many amazing different community stuff that can really add to the value of like this time I'm going to use only shinies or this time I'm only going to use ground type and so psychic. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you guys do it. I respect it. I'm an old school RPG man, except I missed the boat on Pokemon and I'm 38 and there's no going back. Thank you very much, Chapris. Welcome back to another month of pain and I'm about to bring it tonight. Also, the ROM hacks and stuff, people get creative. Speaking of creative, we modded our playthrough of Pokemon Sapphire, Green Wave, Platinum Jubilee. What did we play? Anyway, Captain Muscles modded Soul Silver. That's the one. And uh, that was the one, Soul Silver. And Captain Muscles modded me into the game where I was the ancient. Pokemon trainer talking to a bunch of kids. It was awkward, but it was it was the Pokemon Jubilee Pokemon Acremus not gonna play it. All right So hello Peter my man. What's up magical? Run that intro. All right because I screwed up the intro so bad and this has been so scuffed and Alex's community is so amazing And my wife ate his candy bar and we're going to we're just gonna start this over. We're just gonna start the whole Cool borders! Yeah! Here we go! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's the intro. Sorry, we don't add the cool borders. I just did that for a little extra. And then, wow, Denier just absolutely perfected it with the here we go after the cool borders. Uh, boo! Don't boo me. You, I'm not even playing cool borders. You can't boo me yet. You can't boo shit. Do not boo me. Thank you, Shiny Picks and Muge Cat. Appreciate you guys very much. Um, all Struggling. Right. I know. <laughs> so I before I jump into the the classic PSX gamings. Wow, your stream has improved so much over the last year. Thank you, Cosmic. Friends. Yo. It's time for Premier Two. He's the greatest. At being the least most greatest. And he's our favorite weeaboo. Thank you very much, Thousand Boy. One of the nicest people on planet Earth. I feel safe saying that. Welcome back, Greg. Um, I want to give you guys a little look at that. I I can't tell if this is like legitimately. 
it has a lame keychain. I know, but that that I bought it because of that. I don't even think this is hot. It's not. It can't be. It's called Blair's Salsa de la Muerte con Chipotle. Has anybody tried these things? Does it have a Scoville rating? Um, unfortunately, it's in Spanish and it's in Japanese. So, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> it has eh, five onzas fluids. Okay, this is not going to be good for me. But it looks pretty good. I'm going to give you guys not a zoom in on my face, but bang! Salsa de la muerte con chipotle. And I can handle my spice. We also got a letter, a lesser one. The Marie Sharps habanero pepper sauce. Green hot. You know what? I'm going to tell you guys my little secret. Are you ready? Yes, I know I'm not thin. But, but, I think uh, my trick to e eating healthy is hot sauce. Hot sauce gets you through like so many meals that would otherwise just be like, this is boring. This sucks. I can't eat this to be healthy. The muerte is supposed to be real good. Whoa, Bubby. Really? Well, then I'm in. That's, is that hot? 50,000 to 25? Is that, it's my, it doesn't seem hot. Spice up any salad, any chicken, any... It's not bending the diet. I'm going to be super six-pack. I'm going to be honest. Uh, today, I, I lifted up a little couple of weights. That's right. That's right. That's... Uh, in the last three days, I've I've moved the weights three times. And by that, I mean they were in my way, so I... Oh, I, my God. I kind of put them behind my clothes over there, so they were in the way. But I, I plan on bringing them back to the front soon. They were quarter pounders. They were pretty heavy. <laughs> it's your boy. He's lifting weights. What's up, man? I am getting strong. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling loose. I'm feeling limber. Today, I'm going to be uh, bringing you five hours of power. That's what I feel like. Thank you guys for the amazing support on that hype train. I appreciate it. Did you lift them or rolled them? Come on. Did I lift them or did I roll them? That is just... I rolled them. And then Yuki moved him. Yeah. So, I don't know. They're heavy, all right? Look at this. I'll show you. Look at this one. Shut up. Yo, shut Yo, up. Woo. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Uh, 20! Uh. <laughs> that was that was 20 kilobytes. Or not 20 kilobytes. Struggling. <laughs> 20 kilograms. It's not 20 kilobytes. Uh, I'm okay. I didn't hurt my back yet. Alright, so and I don't do that form. That's not the form that I do. Alright. Oh <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, I do kettlebell swings and some lunges. So that's what I do. Squats, lunges, and kettlebell swings and some... Uh, I have free weights and some other stuff. Uh-oh! Uh-huh! It's going to happen. All this is getting revitalized. I'm out of breath, though. I'm out of breath just from that. Uh-oh. All right. Let's get started with some gaming, shall we? I... I do swing it near my PC. It's all I've got. Hey, I'm impressed. You know how to do proper kettlebell swings. I hope. Now, before we jump into the games, I want to check. Uh, we, I think, well, wait a minute. Maybe Hound looks better to me. I can easily read the names. I can easily, this is the new chat box we're working on. We've got Pete's body is the Meiji restoration. Does it look, look good? I feel like it's looking good. I can put it up here. This is not new. Okay, this is... Do I need to... I'm gonna... It's gone. Do I need to do something different? Do I need to update some new things, Hound? I like... It looks good to me. I know there's some new colors. I need to replace the source. Don't worry, guys. Watch. I got it. I got it. This will take me, like, one second. Uh-huh. Let's go to Stream Elements. Password is Yuki Princess Nohime-sama. 
That's Streamlabs. Whoops. Stream elements. One second. It's not gonna... Uh, there's no way I fucked this up. Go to dashboard. Easy. Password is Shin Angel is not a hentai, but don't Google it. Okay, uh, I go to... I remember this streaming tools. My overlays, even though I had nothing. Copy of P2 multicolor chat. That's the one. Copy URL. We're getting closer. Let's get it on. Easy operation. Three, two. Oh! Type. Speak. Speak many things. Multicolored boy. Look at that. That looks good. That looks real nice. Ooh. Ooh. You did well. Wow. Maybe. What do you guys? I think it looks really great. It does not take the user's color. These are the official P2 colors. Maybe I would offer one thing. Let's see if you guys would be agreement or disagreement. Would you guys like it to have the colors be staggered? Or do you like it go red, red, blue, blue, yellow, yellow, green, green? Like that. Like maybe it does... I don't know. A diff do you guys like I don't I'm not I'm just asking green with white text is near unreadable okay that's a good thing to know Mundus thank you let's just get all the colors here <laughs> this looks better hound three uh, could it have the colors of the usernames? I, uh, <laughs> that's all to Hound. Let's get some claps in chat for Hound 3. I'm also going to throw in an ay ay I'm going to do a little double-double. Because Hound 3 and the secret benefactor who helped make it are absolute legends. Thank you. I, thank you so, so much. Claps and ay ay -yas. Okay, it'll be back in a second. Yellow and white usually don't work well for... Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? It's time for all this quality wasted on the scuff stream. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see where the wheel of fate will take us. Spin that wheel. All right. Let the carnage... It's lights out and away we go. Wait, I screwed up. I have to go back to Streamlabs. I closed my widget of the wheel to spin it because there's not a remote. Okay, here we go. Please, no cool borders too. <laughs> honey, honey, honey. Oh, it's Warhawk. Warhawk! It's the same as it ended last night! We can't escape the wheel of fate. It knows. Unbelievable. It landed on the grundle of Warhawk. That's where it stopped last night, and here we go. Now, oh, Warhawk, the game you got last time you wheeled for fun. It remembers. It remembers. Now, I want to warn you guys something really quick. We've modified the rules slightly to be 30 minutes instead of an hour. I didn't respect the wheel. It's true. Tally ho and off to the races. So I just want you guys to know that this is going to be a 30 minute, 30 minutes of pain and fun. But I think, I think that's, I think that's the best balance. Plus, we can get more games, and and the other thing that we can do is we can uh, we can uh, add thirty minutes if we don't actually keep going. 
we can in a, a maximum hour we can we can keep it going all right so here we go <laughs> That's right, Cowardly Brave. Does this game have sound? Now remember, it's 1999. Holy shit, this is a CGI intro. Oh shit, I, man. Oh dude, this stage, this stage was so much fun. I'll reset the timer in a minute. What's up, Jim? I played this, this stage endlessly endlessly it was like oh no my girlfriend's calling i better put this on my ear because we didn't have cell phones we had like these cell like portable headsets and you'd like put it on your oh whoa oh, oh, bubby oh, oh my that looks like i took a picture of chicken shit and said look at this new game idea i have this is the atari wow that's that's what we're about to get into all right all right, I'm cool with it. Let me give you guys some quick uh, update on Warhawk. And I'm going to tell you about the game and what I remember of it and things like that. Warhawk, released as Eru Asoto in Japan, is a futuristic arcade-style combat flight game for the Sony PlayStation console developed by Single Track and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was originally released on November 10th, 1995 in North America and a month later in Europe. It was later released as part of the Greatest Hits lineup. All right. It is a vehicular simulation game built around futuristic VTOL crafts. The player maneuvers with 360 degrees of flight control through six levels, although no one ever played past stage one, maybe stage two, I think it's a river or canyon stage. Um, it was announced at E3, which used to be a huge gaming convention that nobody knows. It was released to overwhelmingly positive reviews. Critics lauded the precise controls, music, graphics, sound effects, and especially the freedom and variety afforded by the open 3D world and complex flight controls. Uh-oh. Though some felt the game was a little too short. EGM gave it a 9.125 out of 10. Next Generation gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. And Electric Playground, which is probably a fake magazine, gave it a 10 out of 10. Now, Single Track, the developer, you might remember them. Does anybody remember another famous title that Single Track happened to develop after Warhawk? Because when I was growing up, Back in the early 90s, mid 90s, I should say, Single Track was actually one of the developers that I kept a very close. I used to work for Electric Playground. Whoops. Okay, that was my bad. I didn't mean anything negative, Jim. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I take it all back. It's a, oh, you're kidding. Okay. Um, listen to this. You guys might be surprised to know that after Warhawk, they made the first two titles of a little tiny game we like to call Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal 2, Jet Moto, Jet Moto 2, Critical Depth, Rogue Trip Vacation 2012. Yep. Yep. And that's why you watch Premiere 2. I can give you guys some very neat insights via... Uh, you know, they did not make the Warhawk sequels, surprisingly. That's right. There you go. A little update for you guys. My dad works for Nintendo and he's best friends with Kojima. Yeah, well, all right. My dad is unemployed and, and repairs air conditioners. <laughs> Pete is telling us the things that the other wizards refuse to share. I only watch Premiere because he's Tokidoki's dad. I'll take it. Whatever brought you here, I will uh, appreciate it. All right, let's get into let's get into the game. Let me reset the timer. Thirty minutes of fun. All right. Okay. I'm nervous. 
So for me, what I was going to say, well, I always try to give you guys a little bit of my background on... Can I hear sounds? The thing about what I feel about this game when I was growing up was this was pretty much one of the, the launch titles on the PlayStation. So it had... Let's just fucking go. It had a cool seat. I think it has a cool... Can't hear shit. Turn me up. The last strike against Krill was wiped out in less than an hour after they lost contact. I'm not losing my pilots because you can't cut through some interference. Those are my people down there, so find a way. Commander, intelligence can't find anything on this Creel guy. It's really good acting. I would do anything to be a Warhawk Hurt pilot. <laughs> it, this game's just super quiet. I don't know what to tell you. Is everybody okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm trying to get hair like that pilot. I've been trying. Look, that's me. And there's Rob CD. We're the two cool dudes. All right, I'll just dub it over. I, I got this. Do you guys know what this mission is? Hey, Pete, you know what this mission is? <laughs> Been there once before. Ten well, yes, ma'am. You'd go on that mission, and I'll tell you what to do. Mission start by both of you, one ship. You got it? Pete, you're taking the piloting. Rob, you're manning the electrics. Hey, I got that, man. I just went on a big trip. Shut your mouth. You're going to help Pete, not hurt him. There you go. I don't. That was about as close as we can get. Fire me up, Rob. Oh, I'm not in yet, though. You, we're all right. You know what these knobs do? You bet your ass I don't. Find and retrieve this canister. All right, here we go. You gotta type with thick gloves. Oh god. Okay. Wait. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh no, wait, 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 wait. There's a no okay, wait a minute. There's a uh there's a button to switch my oh how do I go big out of my out of the cockpit. I need to get out of the cockpit ASAP. There's only like four buttons. Hold on a minute. There is a button I got this. <laughs> Uh, this is... Oh, you want me to play it, like, with the cockpit like this? No, 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 the game's way cooler with... Oh, there's missiles there. <laughs> we now know why Pete Sack to Korea never took off. <laughs> why? Oh, wait, how do you... I just got sent here from the video did with Abroad in Japan, and you scream, How do I big out of the cockpit? Makes me proud you teach English. Let me tell you something. I appreciate you coming here, but, you know, teaching English in the classroom, that's one thing. Piloting a Warhawk class vehicle on retrieving the canister mission, that's another thing. Oh! Um, that was, uh, that was painful. Uh-oh. 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 Ah, oh, my hair is in my face. I got you. I've got it. Now we are in the external camera. This is like one of those 3D GoPros that everybody's using now. I want to switch to my plasma cannon. Ah! Pete, zoom out, change perspective. There you go. That's as far back as we can go. So first of all, the fact that this... Watch this shot. You ready? Oh! Still got it. Nice shooting, Tex. Oh, yeah, fucking shit. I remember. Let's go right through the. Whoa. I think I can do like a barrel roll. Hey. Perfect hitbox. Oh, 
plasma right on time. Oh, the swarmers. Check this out. You guys want to see something cool? Leave it to... Where's the... Everything. Bang. Bang. Let me tell you. When this was in 1995, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to be... If I'm not mistaken, I think that... Fucking... I shouldn't curse. Chrono Trigger came out in, like, 1996. This game came out before Chrono Trigger. Okay, that was... <laughs> that was not a cool maneuver. That was not a cool maneuver. I thought that would be a little bit cooler than it was. Um, but it was not. Hell yeah, backflip to nose crash. I think we did that in Cool Borders, so I was trying to oh, relive some old, some old legacy stuff. I'm on my lock-ons. I came out before... Oh, give me that right there. Look at this. Neutron bomb. Okay, that's a... Sh oh, that's right. You have shields. Oh! Where's my... Where's my uh, mach heavy machine gun? Look at that. So, like, you gotta, you gotta remember, like, when Star Fox was the closest thing we had towards something like this, and this kind of sandboxy open world maneuverability and even doing something like this right here we're like okay well <laughs> you're not supposed to hit both of the, the the walls with your shields but even doing something like that felt so sick it's gonna fire a gun God, I've never seen something so fucking cool in my life. Space pyramids. And that was like the slowest. Bang. And now we, we got to take out these little ground cannons. Which you know I will. And you can even see, you can even see like some of the twisted metal influence. With like the trailing of the, the rockets right there. It's very twisted metal. You're a worse pilot than Kaho. I am the best pilot, and any mistakes I have can be attributed to Rob. No! That was, uh, not me. I have an ad, but I'm subbed. I'm very sorry. I have no control over a lot of these things. This game blew my mind in 1995. It blows my mind now. Remember, we're not comparing this to, you know, Ace Combat 9. Let's look at it. You've got some pretty clear objectives in... Oh, 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 oh! Okay, I need some... Sh okay. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. We all saw it. We all saw it. Let's not talk about it. All right. Lock on! I'm looking for my uh, shield boost. There it is. There it is. Oh, where's my, my, not that one, plasma cannon. There was a Star Wars and X-Wing game that came out. Oh, really? Watch this. Did this, oh, fucking shiphead. He blocked me. He blocked my plasma with his lame ass body. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Got it. That random blocker. How could he do that? I kind of respect that, though. He was trying to protect his target. There's... Okay. This game is great. It's really not bad, right? It's it's really... Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm just targeting. Bang. It's open. I got it. I got it. I got it. Now we get to do the coolest part where we trust in the... Use the Force, Premier 2. I can do this with my eyes closed, can I? You've turned off your targeting! I've got it! Oh, there we go! Mission complete! Let's get out of here.
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, mission accomplished. Do you fools know what you did out there? Uh, you broke every violation in the book. Plasma cannon misses. Hitting combat units with... Hey, you're sending us out there again? You're gonna... You're gonna... Mm-hmm. And that weird interference is blocking everything. I can't hear <laughs> It is really... Oh, great. You forgot the canister again. Now we gotta go to the canyons. I knew it! I told you guys it was canyons. Oh, shit. My face. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, God. No. Stop. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, wait. Where are we going? What is this? Okay, okay. There it is. All right, we're good now. Yo, who starts a mission in the middle of, like, whatever the fuck that was? Oh! Oh! Okay, that was my pacifist canyon run. Let's try that again. I feel like... I feel like if we go super slow... What do you guys think? Should we go rest in peace, Rob CD? It's alright, he'll be okay. He's taking a break from his cyclethon. He didn't know he was getting in the back of a Warhawk with me. I should have let him pilot. Should I just go... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, it has an auto speed, like an e-bike. Okay. What's up, Chairless? How you doing, man? This is Team Fortress 1. Oh, my God. It hit my face. Should we only uh, go in first person only? I feel like yes. This is the most, uh, whoa. I, what the fuck? There's a wall. No. Okay. Okay. This is really terrible. I like that there's a secondary screen. Uh, <laughs> there's a secondary screen in the cockpit that shows you exactly, like, where you're going. Oh, fuck, it can't fly over this part. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. There we go, there we go. Spin it, spin it, cycle, shoot. I got hair in my pilot mask. Watch this. See? Now, God, stupid. Oh, that was clutch. Okay, we're good. Don't worry about the shield failure. We don't need those. Okay. This is easier than Einhander. Okay, okay, I see what we got. I see it. 
I've got the beast in my sights. Okay. Okay, watch this. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't tell me I missed with every single rocket that I just show. Oh! Okay. Somebody put a new canyon. Ah! Okay, we don't need. Oh! We're all right. We're all right. The controls of this game are pretty advanced. I think the problem is the graphics. I think the problem might be user-centered. Oh, fuck! Okay, okay. Spin? This is like Diablo. Spin to win. We're okay. We're okay. I've got an idea. I've got a plan. And when I when Pete has a plan, we are guaranteed to succeed. Ready? There we go. I need my plasma cannon. We're going to have to go in hot and heavy. This is going to be like prom 2001 where I didn't have a date. So it was just me and Righty. Ready? Wrong button. Okay, wait. I screwed that up. Hold on a minute. Spin. Spin. S hold. Bang. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. That's dog shit. That is so dog shit. You put a plasma mine. Oh, fuck my face. No, no. Oh. Ah. Okay. Okay. You know what, though? I'm going to say this. The games we played yesterday, in case you guys missed yesterday's stream, was... We played... Th we got a checkpoint. That was a good run. We played Einhander, Tenshu Stealth Assassins. And... I'll take those Rockies. Uh, cool Borders 2. Hot Shots Golf. You know what? This game is, is still... Oh, what the... Hell was that? This game I still think it pilots terribly. Jesus H Christ, would you stop shitting my face? We're taking the shortcut. <laughs> okay. That is so cheap. That is so cheap. Seriously? You just have... Let's let my shields recharge for a second. Um, that's all we're going to get. Okay. In terms of, like, holding up for what a game I would consider spending... Like, I would be excited if I was on a deserted island and I found a PlayStation X... I would be disappointed if I only had, like, you know... Well, was there any game we played last night that was, like, not good? That was just kind of like, ooh, garbage. I don't think... I think this would be a fine one. The first stage alone, I think, is one of the best opening stages to a video game on the entire system. I'm not kidding. I think that pyramid stage is such a great opening level. Followed by, quite possibly, one of the shittiest levels I've ever seen in a video game ever, which is this, uh, canyon run through the parsec at 19... whatevers. Oh, no. Eat my... okay. <laughs> I'm using a D-pad, yeah. I'm using only D-pad arenas. The Warhawk smashes against the high canyon walls, but 
Pete and Rob are able to eject, suffering only minor injuries. Evading capture through the use of treacherously narrow hidden trails, the two emerge. Days later, they discover a world that has been vastly transformed. Creel, using the reality warping power of Red Mercury, has shaped the world into his own insane image. Survivors of the war live a nightmarish existence in a plague ridden world dominated by gigantic mechanical monstrosities and Creel's ever present face. Most IP games suck for the most part. Ones with no franchise tie-ins are always better. What's up, Phoenix? Well, humanity died. Creel wins again. Okay. And, uh, Bomiste, how you doing, bud? Thanks, thanks for being here. Appreciate, again, the raid. We cleared the entire... Well, we got an ending. Let me look at my adjust. Oh, <laughs> that's just mean. I don't think in 2022 you could put your easiest difficulty as, quote, granny. That's not fair. Veteran, ace, or granny. I, I, pers whoa. You've come. Friends. What's up, rock and roll? Rad. It is rad. What's up? Oh, what? There's a faster button? I didn't know that. Okay. Thank you. I arrived at the best time, too. I'm, I'm, well, I'm happy. I guess I can, what's the, what? Oh, we got music. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. This is called a speed. Commander. All right, we got this. Find and retrieve this canister. Okay. Wow, look at that. That is the best camera I've ever seen. You can do this thing where you can, like, turn the camera all kinds of weird ways. That's amazing. All right, let's speed run this shit like it's Twisted Metal 1990X. Let's go, baby. So, all right, here's what I'm saying. I felt like everybody had a copy of Warhawk, and this opening scene is so good. You've got this clear, identifiable mission. You got to knock out these towers through the blinking red thing. They're preying upon our years of gaming training to know that blinking thing means boss weak point, right? They give you all of the weapons at the start, which I think is awesome. It has a conducive and easy to use lock on system. Yo, Pete. What's up? I am glad you came back. Thank these you. PSX streams bring back many memories. I got the PSX with Tekken 2 for my 8th birthday in 97. I have this console to this day and still use it. Wow! What? Seriously? You still rocking the PSX? What games do you play? That's amazing! Almost as amazing as this. Uh, watch and learn. Man, you know the F Bloodborne PSX? I uh, wish, right? One of the most fun things to do in this game is the satisfying, like, manual lock-on of, like, that, and then hitting it, and then flying, like, through it. It's super satisfying, even 20 years later. Although, on... Uh-oh. Granny mode... Or, uh oh I... Okay, wait. Stay on target. Bang. Yeah, the Bloodborne D-Make does look absolutely sick. Uh, I never got to play it, but I watched... I think I watched... Might have been actually Alex who I watched play it, but it was sick. Vagrant Story. I am the reinforcement. Final Fantasy Tactics. Blame yourself. Or God. Uh, Twisted Metal 2. Uh... <laughs> uh... 
There you go. Uh, Tomb Raider 1 through 7. I did not know there were seven of them. Chrono Cross and Final Fantasy 8. Hot dogs. There you go. I, I quoted all of them. Spyro. Great games. The, I, I was talking to some buddies, right? And we were we were having a little little debate on what is the best system ever. And you can't say like the PS2 because it has all the PS1 games. That's not what we meant. We're talking we're talking the game library. Hey, better did you hear grandma went to the hospital thing? She felt a lump on her breast. Turn thouted with her belt buckle. Oh my god, <laughs> what have I done the Lithby one? <laughs> okay. That's got to be one man ban. Yeah, it was. Alright. I went from concerned to that you were insulting me, concerned for the grandma, and then I thought, okay, I know where we landed. This is one man ban land. What's up, dude? So what I was saying really quick was I think the PlayStation might have the greatest uh, library slash seven year run of any system ever. I know a lot of people said Super Nintendo. Watch this. You've turned off your, your manually. I've got it. Okay, there we go. Mission complete. Perfect. All right. What's up, Shagbrag? <laughs> oh, yes! There we go. See, you know, I was thinking about PS2, and I honestly think, am I crazy? Is the PS2 just overrated? I don't know. It might be. Like, they have some great titles, but as far as, like, my favorite genre of RPGs go, I'm a huge believer that the PS1 has better... I'm crazy, huh? <laughs> All right, I take it back. You know, to, ouch. To be honest, I haven't really revisited the, the PlayStation 2 in a while. Maybe I'm... Maybe I... That's fine. I'm okay with being wrong. It's not the first or the... Whoa! The last time. Metal Slug is on PS1, and also like Neo Geo stuff. Okay, Hitbox. Okay. Okay. Okay, Hitboxes. Yeah, the PS2 is really good. I take it back already. I already take it back. But like, I feel like gaming took a bigger jump uh, with the PS1 than it did from PS1 to PS2. There, it's true. You're right. If we did a, when we do a PS2 retro run back, like in a year or whatever, I think you guys are going to be right. I think you guys are going to be 100% correct. I'm not giving enough credit to some of the absolute amazing titles that came out on that system, am I? Classic Pete being a dick. All right. Suck on my mescals. PS1 feels like the only era where developers and players were both trying to figure out how to game. The only time era such could exist. Ah, that's a very, really well put description of this whole, this whole little fun time that we lived in. I also think that it was the wild west of gaming. They had access to all the toys. We had play, we had 3D graphics. We had 2D sprites. What the hell is the internet? Wow, granny mode is awesome. You just completely recharge your shields constantly. <laughs> Spin. <laughs> Bang. There we go. There we go. Uh, the VR... Uh, you know what? Here's my other hot take, which I guess because I was crazy about the PS2 shitter, you know. But I think the PS4 slash Xbox Series, whatever that was called, and uh, those two systems, oh, baby, had a amazing gen. I think last gen was absolutely insanely good. To me, it was like going to be forever defined as the return of decent AAA titles and and the return of like or the rise of indies being insanely good what the fuck is this 
I can just sit here as a granny and pop my shit. This is great. <laughs> I love it. All right, easy game. For I'm still going to die. Holy shit, I'm still going to die. Ah, I see what you've done here. <laughs> I remember you guys from before. I know that that 30 minutes, I know time's up, but I want to I want to see a little bit more. Thank you, Max. I want to see a little bit more of Warhawk. I'm having fun with this game. I want to see what happens when we get past a little bit past this mission. Because, honestly, I can't quite recall what... Oh, man. I just had a memory unlock where I was talking to my ex-girlfriend, Amanda. This was back in the day. And I was playing Warhawk. And I remember I did the entire first stage, probably on ace mode, only using this machine gun. Yeah, I guess I had a lot more time than I used to. Hello, good night. Hello again. What's up, Mookie? How you doing, bud? We're schmoving and grooving today. We're playing some PSX classics, and the Wheel of Fate has decreed that we will start with Warhawk. 1995 single track entertainments, legendary uh, initial title. Pretty much put 3D flight sims on the map for Ace Combat to come in later. Uh, they had a pretty successful sequel on the PS3, if I recall correctly, that really moved forward like massively multiplayer online RPG, or not RPG, massively multiplayer dogfighting. And I see it. I see it in my sights. Stay on target. What is this? It's Commander Creel's floating biopole. God, no, a biopple. Can we hurt it? We have to, damn it. All right. Out of swarmers. Okay, this game sucks. It's way too hard. No! Okay, okay. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Reminds me of Rocky when he was fighting Ivan Drago. Uh, that badass guy was like, he, he does bleed! He is a man! Pick this up. Lock-ons loaded. Wow, it gave me two. Thank you. That was an amazing value. Bang! Bang! It's all you need sometimes. Peter, I just came off a nine-day bender. Slept good yesterday. Insomnia. Tonight here in Canada, hopefully I can fall asleep to you. Well, I'm going to be honest. Good luck. I have the loudest voice on Twitch, but I believe that I will be perfect plasma shot. I'll get you there, buddy. How was your nine-day bender? Was it fun? Did you enjoy? I had a two-week bender in Kansas City and then Austin, Texas. Okay. 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 What? You what? did well! I thought. And why are we playing this game in silence? Wow. You know what? Full disclosure, I don't think I... Ah! I don't think I ever... Okay. Got this far. I think this is the furthest I've ever... What? <laughs> uh, okay. It's a trap. Oh, oh. Okay, that's all right. I've never seen a uh, a game peak so well and then fall so fast. 
How did they go again? Well, this one's a little bit better because at least it gives you like this open. What's up, blind? It had this awesome, you know, segment where you were basically open air dog fighting. It's fun. It's fresh. It's cool. It's Noah's Arcade. And then you go into this. Oh my God. It shot me in the face. A little space to breathe, Denier. And then I got absolutely thwacked. Then they added literally a canyon mission. And Granny's dead. It'll start me at the boss. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Granny. I'm sorry. I want to see somebody who's like the world's best Warhawk PSX player. I just want to see them dominate this game. I guess that's me, but... Yeah, I love the little cockpits. Ugh, fuck! Oh, baby. Guess what, boys? We've got the beast in our sights now. Okay, it's a figure eight. That's pretty neat. Watch this. That's right. Luke, go for the legs. Uh, I can't see Uncle Ben. The swarmers are legit like... Oh, no shit, my face. Hold on a minute. We got it. We're good. We're good. I got out of there just in time. Oh, cool guys. Don't look at explosions. Bang! Bang! Got him. Got him. Watch this. Boom! Easy operation. Let's get it on. That's GG's. Here we go. Here we go. What? Bang. There's more? That's a cool boss fight. I like this boss fight more. It fell into the the abyss but i felt like at least this one gave you some room to enjoy right oh look then you do you, do you go in there oh sweet it even shows you like a pretty clear place there it is the red canister we were all seeking that damn creel is there two canisters i bet there is oh yeah That's cool. That was cool. Hey, good job, Rob. No problem, Pete. <laughs> Another. Oh, hey, boss. Good job with the three canisters. But you guys know you have to go right back out there again. I. We just come on. Let's go, man. We're doing good. You, you need. You need a break. Yeah, I know. Look at my cool hair. Snuff about your looks. Get in that cockpit. Get ready to fly because there's three more monster. Hey, you're telling me I got it. You're right. I am telling you that. Get your ass in that seat. Turn on those switches and start flying with those swarmers or you're not getting your meal. Yeah, I'll take away your food. I'll take away everything. You want that little jumpsuit? You think we... I'll do it, all right? Don't take my jumpsuit. Okay, I'm done talking about this. I'm not good at dubbing. I have to go back out with him? Again? He's crazy. I'd rather f f f ride my bike to the bottom of Japan and back again. You take that trip. You ride that bike. We'll leave the Warhawks to a real capable pilot. You 
<laughs> oh, dude, she just insulted you in your e-bike. Hey, don't take it personally, buddy. I thought it was a cool trip. It was a good subathon, man. See, I had Rob's back that entire time. Oh, God. This is the ocean stage. <laughs> just... Wow. I've never seen this. That's... That's crazy. I don't think anybody's ever gotten past the canyon stage. What's up, boob? Boib? Boib? Woo, shit. That's pretty sweet. I like that they gave it a secondary balance of like, okay, you had your... You, you, you suffered through... Look at the... Look at the size of this ship. Look at this. It's got like its own little... Well, hole in the middle. That's pretty crazy. Wow. And it's got satellites that I destroyed. Some of them. Oh, all of them? It's got these other dolphins that are flying in the sky? It's pretty sick. Why? You know what? I'm genuinely shocked. Is that my target down there? That's just paint. <laughs> there you have it. And we're done. That, my friends, is Warhawk. Whew. I think that was a cool game. Honestly? Honestly? That first stage? Really good. I think the first, okay, there was, there was two problems with that game. There was two problems that I, that I can identify and it might be an emulator issue. I'm going to be honest. One was I could not hear shit. <laughs> I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear my weapons. I couldn't hear the cutscenes. I couldn't hear the music. Uh, I don't know how you guys, what it sounded like on your end, but it was really, really low audio. And I don't remember the game having that. So for me, it had this feeling of emptiness when we were playing just now. But I don't think that's the game. I think that was something with the emulation. It was a complete mute. A complete mute. This stream is like a Pizza Hut demo disc. <laughs> yes. That's a shame. I, I really feel like... Hey! Wow, that scared the shit out of me. It really did. Uh, Bartek, let's give a cheer to Single Track and all of these early PS1 classics. Come on. I got plenty for everybody. Hey. Hey. Nice choice on the t-shirt. I appreciate that. Well done. Appreciate you picking that up from the dot decor and more style. You're going to look good. This game was called Warhawk. This is Warhawk. It's on the PlayStation. And it's quite good. And I, I will still stand by the original, the original stage, the first stage, level one. I have countless memories of. Still pilots well. That was all done with just the D-pad and the, the buttons. There was no analog sticks. I did not have really any trouble piloting other than the canyon stage. That was a bit tricky because of the speed and the limited areas. Level 1 of video games is always the peak content. Level 1 and final level. What's up, Conk? We tried to do some cutscene dubbing. We didn't do the best we could. If I had one more shot at it, it would be, it would be amazing. But like... I'm going to give this three, uh, if you guys have your Koopo coins ready, 
those are free to all even if you just follow the channel i'm gonna out of five what would you rate this game i would say early pete 1995 pete would have given this like an easy four i would have given it an easy four modern pete looking back i'm gonna give it a solid three for myself personally it's level one and water level. Water level seems fun, but nothing will ever pass the amazingness of that first stage. That first stage alone is a five. It's so good. Chasing that with canyon stage, probably not a great idea. Too much Star Fox? I can get that. I res I respect that. I think the big difference between this and Star Fox is that it gave you like a big open world to go on right like you had control over the the vast expanse three only for granny mode <laughs> oh. oh yes i like using that command but the sound the sound really set me back but warhawk was cool all right Highway to the canyon zone. Bang. Here it is. Look at that. It's all there. Ripe for the taking. Where are we going? Is it going to cool borders? Are we going to cool borders again? Are we going to destruction derby? Here I am on holiday watching Premiere 2. What have I become? Oh, baby. What's up, Chris? We're revisiting PlayStation 1 classics, my friend. We are all the way back. How are you doing on your wonderful vacation? And I'm sorry for your sad holiday. What's Happy up, Maverick? Happy Cockroach King. Thanks, buddy. Let's give this spin uh, for Maverick and Chris combined. Let's see what we've got. Hey, Peter and Subs, what do you think is an underrated game for the mid-90s that no one talks about? Look no further than this wheel, Foibus. Right here is your underrated wheel of shame. This is some good shit that people overlooked, in my opinion, because they say, Ooh, 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 Final Fantasy VII, ooh, Metal Gear Solid, ooh, Time Splitters, ooh. No, 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 no. Right here is what we're looking at. We respect the wheel. Uh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> No, that's that's not where we're going. Cool borders. We're not going back to cool borders. We don't respect the wheel. We already did it. We already did it yesterday. I just forgot to replace it. I promise we'll end the stream. I promise we'll we're, we're, fucking hell. Fine. We'll do quick big air only and then we're done. I'm not spending barely any time on this. We have to respect the wheel. We're playing this very, 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 very limitedly. This game is the worst, but we have to respect the wheel. Awful, how did that happen? Why did this happen? It still has my... It still has my setup. Okay, nose grab, easy. So much for underrated games. All right, wait. I think the problem was I was playing as Yagi. I need to play as... No, I like Yagi, but his t-shirt was so stupid. That's the one, that's the cool one. All right, let me go back to let me go back to Stadium Kicker. You've come, friends. What's up, Nissiath? How's your vacation going, Chris? By the he's probably gone. He's like, I'm not watching Cool Borders too. <laughs> 
I don't Dirty blame him. <laughs> All right, here we go. All the pixels. Watch this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no! He didn't do the thing. He didn't do the thing. I swear. I pushed the buttons. I did. I don't know what happened. Overlooking the sea. Well, here's some snowy mountains you for you. Well. All right, hold on, hold on. I can fix this. I can fix ah! this. Ah, oh, fuck. Kim Trail, thank you so much. Welcome back. No ads for Mr. Chris. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Overlooking the sea. I'm overlooking PS1 <laughs> wastelands. Why is he not spinning? Can he not move? I got it. I got it. I think I'm just not holding it. Oh! Struggling. No, we're good. There we go. There we go. I still remember the... Okay, we're good now. We're good. Can one of the mods please update the title to Cool Borders 2 if that's all right? There we go. Bang! Look at that 1080 method, baby. Boo! <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, what about why don't you boo this shit, buddy? You ready? Why don't you try booing this? Uh, okay boo! Oh, The beautiful watch this moment something so delightful and delectable. Oh the boos. I love this game so much just mind your center of gravity with that bulbous forehead premier smile premier wow I showed you a photo of where I'm watching let's take a look can I can I show can I show the great people of chat Chris do you mind I'm not gonna show that that's ridiculous that's bullshit overlooking a majestic sea beautiful crystal clear waters wine glass in hand midday and then me and my stupid face I'm not gonna show anybody anything I'm pissed I'm not gonna show I'm not gonna show shit I don't want you anyone to know that you're seeing beautiful wonderful airs Friends. Countless hours staring at dollar store Paul Rudd's forehead. The cognitive decline associated with watching supposed big brain plays, yet I'm strangely filled with joy. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome or possibly something worse. Premier Roach. Oh! Give me back my forehead! Oh! I'm sorry? I'm sorry? How about that? How about that? I Give think it's that was a misty 900 my friend good for second. Okay. I feel good now I think it's great that you got to go on vacation, man I think that you know you've been super busy. You've been working yourself to the bone believe it or not I know we we all make fun of Chris and we all and he makes fun of me But like street sniping is fun though to be fair, but like you yo, did a yo, lot of work. Yo, Yo, Phantom, Mike Show, what's up? What's up, dude? Thank you. Throwing out five gift subs. I appreciate that. I can I can imagine it right now, Chris going, Pete, I've been too busy here in Japan. You with your Misty 360 Indie Grabs, me with my journey across Japan's, both striving for different things. I'm going to take two months off. I'm going to the Alps. Yeah, I knew there was. Okay. Boo! You got the backpack yet? We can do the live stream shows? Let me tell you a little spoiler. Are you ready? Did I get the backpack yet? Did I get the camera yet? Did I get all of it set up with Johnny Mole's help? Yeah. Yeah, I did. It's IRL time, baby.
It's IRL time, baby. Uh, what's wrong with the audio, guys? Is there okay? Wait, is there any uh, is there any retro arc? What's in the backpack? Two batteries, two modems, uh, an action cam. The, the it might attack me. The uh, it might fall on. Did you pay for it? I did pay for it. I paid a lot of money, and I did not go with the pre-built backpack. Me and uh, Johnny Mole decided it would be better to build it with a proprietary system. Can somebody, is anybody a retro, is Treon in here? Tion, where you at? We're gonna go to Burger King. I think it's like, I don't know. I only got electrocuted twice. I think I must have accidentally turned it down myself. Okay. Ooh. How do I, what's the button for turning up and down things on a commands? It cost me about, to be honest, uh, a little under $2,000. <laughs> and, and, uh, it's going to be about 200 a month for, it's a lot. Well, they, they discontinued the action cam, right? So the, the Sony action cam is... It is pretty good. The Sony action cam is a discontinued thing, but it has the best stabilization. But allegedly, the people who made the tech for Sony decided, you have a proprietary face. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, yes, I understand that. Here we go. I do have a proprietary face. I wonder how I fucked up this this retro arc so badly. Um, but I would say it was total like fifteen hundred bucks total. Come on, I really want first place here so badly, and yeah, I think it's gonna be worth it. It's not the Windows setting. I checked everywhere on Windows. At RetroArch's at 100% volume, but I can tell it's barely peaking. I can tell. I can see it. I think a new Sony action cam is coming out. I hope. It'd be, it'd be cool, but, like, the camera was the most expensive, and then instead of using a live view, Johnny somehow built his own kind of thing with some cool... Hold on, man. Watch this. I want to see a 1600... Okay. Is it lighter than Nomadic's backpack? I'm going to have to say yes. Okay, I'm going to have to Google it. Give me a second. I can't live in this quiet RetroArch volume hotkey. Uh, okay. Ah, this is so stupid. I, I need to just check your stream window on OBS and Streamlabs, whatever you use. It's not, it's maxed. Like, I, you know, Hontoni. It's set to maximum. The game, the in the windows, it's set to maximum. I think yesterday, I, I like, screwed up and I... I did hit the plus button a lot. All right. I... I did. I swear. I'm not totally stupid. Am I? F9... I hit it. Ah, it's busted. All right. Hey, nice job. No sidestepping. Numpad plus. I've tried. It's just really quiet. I don't know what the deal... But we you know what? The other thing is today, we've had some crazy shit luck with... Um, I'm not hitting Alt F4. But there, I've done my penance on, on this crappy game, so... 
Let me see what I can figure out right here. Give me a second. Maybe there's something actually in the retro arc, you know. There's not. This is so bad. <laughs> uh oh, wait. No. Volume gain? Uh, does anyone know what volume gain is? It's at negative 26.5. Is that normal? That seems wrong. When you say turn it up, you mean bring it back to zero, right? Okay, okay. Before you guys... Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay. <laughs> we... <laughs> we got it. We got it. Okay, okay. It's It works. That was fine. I had that really loud in my face. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's fix that one more time. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I can't hear the uh, alert, but let's set the volume gain to like minus 10. Oh. Oh, f my head. This has been a... Audio volume expressed in decibels. Zero decibels is normal volume. No gain will be applied. Gain can be trolled in input. Volume up. It, okay, shut up. Now play Warhawk again. Uh, no, the wheel has spoken. Uh, you know what? I feel bad. You guys are stuck with me, which is terrible. And every time we play games, something goes wrong because I don't know what I'm doing. And everyone's like, how is this possible that someone can be this stupid? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. All right. Here we go. Let's have some fun with it. Cool borders. No way! Struggling. It is a rough night. <laughs> hey! Hey! There is no... We have to respect the wheel. Here's the good news. This was the very first PlayStation game I ever played. Boo! Boo! Hey, you suck! Boo. Hey, you suck! Uh, what games did you want to land on? Honestly, anything but ESPN, Extreme Games, Warhawk, and Cool Borders. Those were the three. Midnight coming on strong. Tell the people who you were along. Transform your body day to night. Why not remove it? Because this is part of our growing up. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the game, by the way. This is just the intro. <laughs> It's an extreme intro. Maybe it's 3D and we don't have the right glasses. This is super extreme. 
It's so extreme you can't see it. Cheer 100. Hello, Peter San? It's your last remaining neighbors. It's been so heavenly and quiet. We've even managed to speak to American trash lines and delay you. <laughs> Could you please refrain from blood? <laughs> Sorry. We'll go easy again. All right, this is ESPN Extreme Games. Let me tell you guys a little bit about this game really quick. My feeling is, how is it possible that we cannot... Are you, are you honestly telling me that we... I used to be able to play these games for hours. Hours. And you're telling me we can't do 30 minutes? Come on. Okay. ESPN Extreme Games, later renamed One Extreme due to the ESPN licensing expiring for Sony, is a game released for the PlayStation in 1995. A version was released for the MS-DOS shortly after that. The game featured all the sports included in the Summer X Games in 95. It did not in fe feature like half pipe and stuff and skateboarding. You know, it's very similar to Road Rash, which was released and published by Electronic Arts. The game was followed by two sequels, Two Extreme and Three Extreme, which is going to be uh, our Chris and I's next two videos. Two Extreme to Teach and Three Extreme to Eat. It's going to be fun. Like other titles released during the early console's life, the game was available in a large CD jewel case like the ones used for the Sega CD and Sega Saturn games. Um, kind of interesting. Those were the big-ass boxes before they repackaged them to the CD cases. Roughly a year after the game's released, Electronic Gaming Monthly reported that ESPN Extreme Game was the biggest-selling PlayStation game worldwide. That's how popular this game was. This was basically a launch title. A brief review in Next Generation said it was not bad and scored it 3 out of 5 stars. <laughs> so for me, my memory of this game was that it was the game I rented when I was with uh, my mom. It's not bad. I rented this when I was on vac- er, we had just moved to Kansas City from, um, Wyandotte County. So we moved to a different part of Kansas and I was kind of depressed because I had no friends and my mom rented a PlayStation and we picked up a copy of ESPN Extreme Games and I remember I had a pepperoni pizza and she let me eat in my room which was very rare and I got to play this game all night while sitting on my bed. And it was great. I want video on. So now let's take a look at it. My guess, to be honest, is that we're not going to make this one through uh, 30 minutes. And the best thing about it was still the pizza. Whoops. New season, baby. They call me Ace. <laughs> okay. Turn up the game audio just a touch. You got it. You asked for it. Uh, I want to check out my rollerblades, please. Never mind. All right. Never mind. Utah. Lots of beautiful scenery and mountains. But Susie Colbert? That's Susie Colber. End up in an old ghost town. I had a huge crush on her. That's the one where Joe Namath was like, she, he was very drunk, and he goes, he goes, I want to kiss you. I could care less about the team struggling. Get set. Let's go. Oh, this is extreme. 
struggling. Oh. Look at these. Ex this is like Mario Kart. Why is everyone faster than me? Where did everybody go? He was the biggest dirtbag ever, and Susie Colbert handled it. What the fuck? Why is this just... Are we in Daytona? <laughs> no! Go! No! Don't stand there! Why hit the jump? Why did he... Is there... Who puts... Ow! Uh... I don't know the buttons. Okay, okay. You are big. I don't know if that's true. Look at... Uh oh I see somebody. I see some people. They know I'm coming. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's alright. That's... Watch this. Boom! I planned that second one so that I could do that. They better... Did that... Wait, is that really what happened on ESPN? Okay. 13th place. Why is everyone faster than me? Well, Peter the First could insert a forehead joke, like always, but the real answer is, you're not playing the game properly. Your lack of extreme is concerning. Premier smile, Premier wow. Well, there's bo okay, okay, wait, okay, okay. There's boulders flying around on our track. Second, I I did the jump, and then my forehead banged off the post. Oh, man, you guys don't know what it was like playing. Sp sports in the 90s it was dangerous terrifying and uh these are extreme games oh i stopped there's a st <laughs> okay oh there's <laughs> i can kick okay oh i think that was a shortcut that looked like the cave of wonders Oh, I jumped off his back. Oh, that was extreme. That was dirty. I'm gonna punch you. Oh, bitch. Oh my God. Fucking green. Green man, I want him dead. I want him dead now. I ran over that guy's body. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright, you want Get off the road, cyclist! <laughs> I'm done. I got beat by a biker? Last. Absolutely. Positively, the last person to finish the race. Do they have the safety I don't think so, scrub. Susie, come on. I defended her earlier. <laughs> what kind of password is that?
Your password for today's game is one two eight one nine six zero six four zero 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 five. What? What? Oh, okay. I I thought was there thirteen zeros in there or fourteen? There's seventeen. Well, sixteen, eighteen. It's an extreme password. Okay. First of all, I oh, I can choose my weapon. What do you guys think? Should I use the street luge? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want blades again. <laughs> okay, okay. I think we should go with the um the bad attitudes. Let me look at that. Let me see if we've got a Oh, baby. The rising sun. The rising sun P490X. We could take the rising sun that says something in Japanese that I can't read. Smoking Jays. It's actually the wrong flag, though. That's the wartime flag. Kind of offensive. The orange whip, the wind cutter. Oh. The roadmaster or the missile. There's no music here. It's just, we're focusing on the weapons. Oh my god, look, the trucker. What is this? I've never seen a luge before. The luge is the thing that that's what you want right there, the Milano 1200. Alright, first of all, what do you, keep on trucking? You guys think I should, should I stick with the blades or go with the bike? What do you guys think is the most extreme, or is the street luge the most extreme? Street luge is they put you in this rocket and they just send you down. The wind cutters, what they called me in high school. Yeah, I think we gotta luge it if we're being extreme. I'll take the wind cutter, please. Did I, did I buy it? Oh, wait, wait, what was that? Press... Use... <laughs> hey, don't be a sore luger! Alright, alright, let's- let's get a prediction up, it, okay? Cause you guys talked your shit now that I- now that I know the game, let's see you guys put your points at. I got, what did I get last time? F 14th? So I just got to make the top 7th. Was I, was I 16th or 14th last time? I can't remember if I was 14th. Oh, fuck off. I was top 7. Top 7. Is, is Pete going to luge his way to victory? That's what the question is. Is Pete going to luge his way to victory? That's the question. Put it in the put it in the board. You know what? I know what the problem is too. I had these fucking geek glasses on. I'm not even being extreme. There we go. What's up, fellow kids? Yeah, I gotta go, hello, fellow kids. I'm in. They call me the Round Rock Express. Just so you know. 
His hat says Express on it. Hey, I'm a, uh, hey, Pete, what do you do? I'm a, I'm a street luger. Really? Yeah. Express. I go fast. The question, Mr. 16th, is the luge feet first or forehead first? If the latter, I could see you creating shortcuts of your own. Plowing headfirst into walls, nothing will survive that adamantium forehead premier smile premier wow. It's feet first. Hey, uh... <laughs> Would you guys be cool if... I mean, like, can you imagine if, uh... If, let's pretend for one second you guys are... You guys are cool, okay? Do I have any other cool equipment in here? I don't have any... I don't have any other cool equipment, but okay. Imagine this is like my luge, okay? And I go like, eh? Oh, dudes! Hey, what's up? Hey, dudes! Uh, you remember me? No, <laughs> eh? No, it's me. I'm. They call me the Express. Ah! Uh, no, I got 16th last time. I know, right? Like, these dudes, like, on bikes, and, like, they kicked me and shit. But, hey, I got a new thing. It's called the Wind Cutter. And uh, I'm kind of entering the race to be, like, a pretty new luger. I gave up blading. No, no, it's cool, yeah. No, I didn't hurt my... No, I was in traction for, like, just three weeks. Full body bruising. It's cool, man. Uh, they said I'll be all right. And uh, it's time for me to... uh. Well, sorry, we're out there in Utah, and I'll see you guys at the finish line, but uh, I'll be waiting at the end, right? <laughs> All right, dudes. Dude, no? Uh, Shaka bra? Okay. okay. All right, see you guys later. You guys want to go out for food after the... Boom! Boom. Hey, you suck! All right, dudes. See you, dudes. All right. Boom! Boom. Hey, you suck! Ha <laughs> it's funny. All right. <laughs> that sucks. Struggling. <laughs> that's, that's so depressing. You guys are so cool. Why won't you hang out with me? Cool borders! You guys want to go to the Red Lobster? I've got coupons. I'm a regular. Endless shrimp! They're gone. Alright. They don't care. Alright, let's go. Welcome back, oh brother Pete. Was that th those boos were by me. I, I recorded those boos. What's up, what's up, Dot? I just I just popped him in the old recorderino and made it myself. All right, let's hit the links or whatever they call it. Oh, I'm ready to luge it up. Let's go. I want that first San Francisco. You'll finish at the Golden Gate Bridge, but the key here is the tunnel. Once you hit it, go all out, because you're almost home. Man, it's, yo, dudes, like, San Francisco's, like, my backyard, bros. <laughs> you know? Like, hate Ashbury, and... All right. Who's this discount Fred Durst? I'm luging. On your mark. Set. <laughs> Let's go. I gotta use my hands, though. Ah, yeah, fuck it. I gotta... Wait. This sucks. I'm pushing with my hands? Oh my god, what? Hey, Yuki! What's wrong? Sorry, sweetheart. Hey, watch out for that barrel, dork! Damn it. Ah, oh, there's a barrel there? In San Francisco? Don't we pay taxes? Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? How do I... 
What? <laughs> well, I'm beating that guy, I'll tell you that right now. This sucks. This is so slow. How do you go faster? I'm going 28 miles. I'm slowing down. Struggling. This thing sucks if you go uphill. Remember me, Green? Yeah, what's up now? Eat that dirt. And that's the asshole on the bike who passed me last time. Remember him? Let's hit it. Come on. They don't call me Pete Street Lugin the Master for nothing. They call me the Express. And I'm here to cat. Oh! Ninth! Ninth! Shit! What? Okay. Okay. I see him! I'm extreme! I'm extreme! No! I see it! Why... Why is my guy swinging wildly? Where's the end? Uh-oh! Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, come on! It's here! There it is! Go! Go! Fucking shit! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Stay yes. away from the summoner! <laughs> That was so extreme. <laughs> oh, yes. A <laughs> race. Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> cool borders. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. That hurt so bad on my hand. Eh, you know what was that clutch up though? I want to see. Uh, well, why was the that was totally that was totally against street lugers. The last climb was straight uphill, and I had to push, and then I had to punch that guy with that ex extreme clutch up. All right, there you go. I broke my hand playing that extreme game. That was fucking sick.
Thank God, is Pete gonna make top seven? 83% of you said no. <laughs> Let's go, Luge Master. That's right, I'll see you guys at Red Lobster. Thank you very much. I don't know the buttons. What's up? Oh, how much? <sighs> Guys, I have to pay... I have to pay my... Uh-oh, wait. Sad scam game. Seventh or better? The NAST will be evaluating the results of this race. The funds I have lost is insane. Premier wow, <laughs> premier wow, premier wow. <laughs> Shouldn't have bet against the Express. Um, so I got my municipal tax bill in, right? My municipal tax bill, which is basically state taxes if you live in America. And uh, in Japan, they come in pretty hefty prices. And I opted to pay all of mine at once because I figured I had one year of at least no teaching. I better pay all my bills up front so that I, if I run out of money and I have to crawl back to being a teacher, so be it. At least I won't be in debt to the other stuff. So Yuki said to me, wow, it's so expensive. Does anybody want to hazard a guess at how much it was? Um, I'm going to guess like $3,000. That's my guess. I'm going to see what they say. 1 million yen, 7.4, 150,000. Okay. 3,500 USD. That's what I thought. 35 or 3,000, I thought. This is a yearly thing. A yearly thing. All right, Yuki, what is it? What? By this month? Ah, yeah. oh, 3,500 bucks. Actually, it's, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of state taxes. Ouch! Y'all buy, y'all buy, kore y'all buy. That's all right. 35 hundo. That's more than my IRL backpack. That's right. I'm paying all at once. I'm paying all at once because we don't know if I'm going to make it. But you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say this. I better get back in that luge. Exactly. We don't that sweet money. Um, I'll say the good thing is that that was the wrong button. Friends. Please don't be a teacher again. We would miss you. I'll try my best not to uh, do that, Trout. I promise. Bang. High score. Uh, the... The... Fuck, my hand hurts so bad. The interesting thing to me is that, well, the good news is, is that the streets are clean, they're well paved, they have good bike and pedestrian paths, it's a good place to live, so it's like, I'll take that. Oh man, does this game involve a lot of button mat? I don't know, I was pushing, how much is tax income? Uh, 21%? 21%? Depending on your income bracket? It's expensive. Sam Murabayashi, Paul Dillon. Who am I? Am I Reggae Costa? My God. <laughs> he is a head start to that tax bill, good lord son. If you're paying that much, I hope they can provide with two men from yesterday's stream premier smile premier. Wow. <laughs> they are. They're doing, they're helping me out. I'm Charlie Nappy, by the way. And. You've come, friends. Here. Have some of Jeff B's money. I appreciate that, everybody. I do appreciate that. Genuinely, I, I just hope that you guys are enjoying the the stream. And don't worry about me. I, if I'll make sure it, it, it we do it, we do. I definitely did not get no place. I got seventh. 
Is there a controls? Hello, Emma. Hey, don't worry about it, Jaden. There's no pressure here. Let me let me check the controls really quick. ESPN Extreme PSX controls. I just don't remember how to do anything. The ground quakes. Whoa, new sub alert. I know that. Thank you very much. I will be there in one second to say thank you. Steer D-pad accelerates is X. Jump is not circle. Cool. Thank you, Plimio. Woo! Welcome. All right, let's let's race it up. That's me? I'm like, what is wrong with my body? And my arms are so small. And my chest is so huge. And I'm very short. And the hat is inaccurate. South America. Look for the hidden treasure, but be careful. You never know what can happen in those ancient ruins. What? We're taking our extreme games to ancient ruins? And she doesn't know what's in them? On your mark. And they put me in 15th? You've come, <laughs> friends. Hi Pete, looks like you were stuck with me, ha <laughs> ha. Glad you made it home safe eventually. Thank you, Mibusin, and you don't have to... I'm not... I'm, I'm happy to be st stuck with you. I just... We're gonna be just fine as I, uh... Figure out... Oh, it's not a person. How to play. I think... If, if, I'm, if you guys are about to buy this game... My advice would be... Uh, that, that mouse clicker is gonna bob... Oh, shit. It won't go away. There it goes. I would advise you guys to only focus on getting these yellow money ups. Mamma mia! Pay off them taxes, PT. I will. I got these. I've got these. Yo, I love this game. It's a core memory that's been unlocked. Like I said, the ooh, the purpose of this stream is not to play the ones that we all remember. Which is like Final Fantasy, Metal Gear Solid, Tomb Raider. It's to revisit some of those ancient classics that that touched our... What the fuck? Who hit me in the air? What the... I mean... Ugh. It's to revisit those games that make you feel like, Oh man, this used to be so much fun. And I gotta say... Other than Warhawk Stage 2, I've really... Hey! I've really... Invo uh, I missed something. I gotta go back and see what I missed. I'm very sorry. Vegeta-sama. Thank you. I think... Did I miss something, guys? If I did, please let me know. Get off me. That guy was a non-sub. Had to put him down. I missed... I'm going to read that donation. I'm going to read that. It didn't... Uh, I, I apologize. I fix it in a minute. Oh, God. I got it. Trust me. Sometimes when you're street luging, you block out all distractions. That's what separates me from the uh, competition. Struggling. I am focusing on my championship run. That ancient South American... Uh, we're not even in a city. We're just in South America. <laughs> it's like San Francisco, Utah, S South America. Okay. Okay. Stay away from the summoner! I've got this. I've got this. Some of these guys... <laughs> Some of these guys just might be dead. 
I've never seen the infrastructure of South America, but I find it hard to believe it's like this. Oh, that poor biker. <laughs> he was stuck on the wall. He might have been taking like a water or pee break and I just ended his... Oh, <laughs> oh come on. Why are there sliding walls? That's ridiculous. That's so stupid. And then I did the weird thing where you're trying to walk past it and it's all... Go! I didn't know these things had reverse. This is a race. Give me back my son! Susie shows no respect to people who get sixth or worse. Kind of rude. Kind of rude. But. Oh my god, stinky. Gotta be insane. Pay off them taxes, PT. Yo. I didn't even hear the Taco Bell alert. I did not even hear the Taco Bell alert. You gotta be insane. We went four cheeses with it. You went four cheeses and then dunked on me mid-race. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very kind. I really appreciate that. Uh-oh. Stinky. It's very, very kind. It helps a lot. You'd be surprised. Uh... Now I can go out tonight and order 15, well, 100, that's like three pizzas, but, and there was another one that I also, missed. But I don't see it. I don't see another one. I'm sorry. But I am extreme Pete. It's not on my list, but I appreciate that as well. Come, friends. Premier Jam, Premier Jam, Premier Jam. Thank you very much, Europa Jean. Well, uh, the only other recent notification I have is, and I don't think this is it because. Mamma mia! Maybe it was. 111 septillion, 111 sextillion, 111 quintillion, 111 quadrillion, 111 trillion, 111 billion, 111 million, 111,111. I'm pretty sure that was, there was not that one. Uh, it didn't upload yet. I just want to say whoever did do it, I will check the VOD and I appreciate it very much. Sometimes, almost always, things don't work well on this stream. I know Arthur sent me one to get a good start on the, the tax bill, and I, I appreciate it, but I don't have the other one listed. So, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Whoever you are, you can also resend the message. And we I know it's scuffed. I'm scuffed. I'm a scumbag. But, uh, can you believe we've already been playing games for two hours? Two hours! And we've, we've played through Cool Borders 2, ESPN Extreme Games, and a very low-volumed Warhawk. And I think we've bored the masses. But it's time for us to spin the wheel one last... Not one last time. We gotta do one more... No, we gotta do more wheels, not one more. But I gotta go to the bathroom, and I'm really thirsty. So, I'll spin the, the wheel first.
No, it's Spider-Man! Spinderman! Sweet! Spider-Man! Spooderman! Now a popular, mega successful movie franchise. Let's see its humble origins as you swing from the sky. But before that, if you would be so kind to let me go uh, fix my extreme hair and wash my hands and get a water, I'll be right back. I never hear the story of Premier 2. It's not a story that chat would tell you. We don't fuck around with this stream. This is the real deal. Wait, wait, wait. Insane production value for what this stream is? What's in my loins and cold outside? Oh, whoa. All of this. Not interesting. It sounds disgusting. It sounds disturbing. Do you know that the equivalent of teabagging for a woman is called a clam slam? <laughs> now will you shut up with the mama mias and the ah! Uh, my God, I had to turn them all off. You guys ruined your chat privileges for an hour. I'm timing you out. Come on, I've masturbated over worst. <laughs> oh my. Well. Yeah, I can imagine. This is pretty good material for that. How do you use this? I have... Johnny, I missed. Johnny, oh, fuck me. Oh, Pete's getting... Oh, I almost said horny. <laughs> I meant to say... Not ran... Oh, no. I don't know what I was looking for, but it wasn't horny or randy. I meant to say Pete's getting, like... Warmed up? First, it's over. You bitch-ass tree. Yeah, I always said I don't hit any damn bananas. <laughs> Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Okay. <laughs> Did a little doodle of a 90s luge loser Pete. Oh, I love a good code stars. <laughs> That's so sad. It's English shrimp! <laughs> Look at that. Or Express Pete. He's so sad. He just wants to go. He's holding his weird checkered luge. <laughs> Guys! Wait! It's Endless Shrimp! Oh, it's so sad. Poor Pete. Poor Luge Pete with his express lame. <laughs> he has that lame hat. It's got cheddar biscuits! No one cares, Luge Pete. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, my cheeks hurt from laughing again. My cheeks hurt from laughing again. Oh, almost spilt the water everywhere. Uh, Marvel versus Capcom. You know what? It's not a bad idea. It's a good shout. Um, but I'm playing a couple of other old school titles Oh yeah, we forgot to rate the game slit. I got it all. Wait one second. Okay. Uh, first of all, really quick, because I forgot, what would you guys give the ex I got the timer, I promise. ESPN ex Let's knock that huge tax bill down some more. Premier Kanpai. 
Yo, guys. Yo, thank you. I that's very kind. Uh oh, and Conk coming through huge. I appreciate it. I've tried pretty hard to save as much as I could, but you know, uh, I really this really helps keep the lights on, and Yuki and I are very thankful. Thank you very much to all the people who are kind enough to donate and subscribe and toss out funny jokes and bits. Kampai and cheers to all of you. It's very, very humbling. Thank you so much. Kampai, great group of men and women. It's very nice. Hey guys, I live in Japan too, you know. Nudge, nudge. You should buy your art. You gotta come on this stream, Dot. You gotta be here, buddy. You're a full-time teacher. You're educating the masses on what not to watch at night. You have gainful employment. I'm unemployed. Um, but I'm I'm toasty. I'm toasty. You have a real job, Dot. <laughs> Dot stream will be soon. I've got to well anyway, that's I'll tell you more about that when it when we're getting closer on the next break. But really quick. ESPN Extreme Games 1995. Susie Colbert. She doesn't like losers. She only likes winners. So I'm out. But Dot is in. So how would you guys rate it? Uh, old School Pete. It being my very, very first ever. My very, very first ever um, PlayStation game that I, I rented with my mom. Uh, old School Pete would have given it a four. And I'm going to be honest. I'm still giving it a four. I'm still going a four. I think it's a pretty fun game with a nice, simple loop. It's got some upgradable different weapons, not weapons, rollerblades, bicycles. It's got a nice general graphics to it. It's like cruising USA, but also with rollerblades and Susie Colber. So I think all in all, it's a pretty fun little experience. I wish you would have tried the bike and the skateboard. I'll tell you what, Conk as a special, because we did Cool Borders twice. And it's got punching. I, before, if you remind me, before we go off the air tonight, I will play the skateboard and the bicycle. I promise. Three and a half for South America. I do feel that was kind of cheat, cheating. What if there was like Asia, but San Francisco? Okay, and there was like kind of just Mayan. Is that what South America's like? There's sliding doors and like stone statues with their heads falling off. Yeah. <laughs> Italy, what's it going to have a pizza in the middle of the street? I don't think that's right. It was fun to watch as well. Look good enough. And I give it an extra star just because we have endless shrimp. Guys, had a nice meme out of it. Now, moving on to Spooderman. Uh, of course, who is not familiar with... M You're welcome, Yuki. Who's not familiar with all of these superheroes and characters now? Well, back in 1990X, the world was a simpler time where there was not a lot of fandom around Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, the X-Men, and other such heroes from DC and the boys. So we kind of had to pay the cultural price for these things to enter into the mainstream. And here's one of the games that did it. This game actually came out in 2000, if I'm not mistaken. It was. Spider-Man is a 2000 action-adventure game based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. It was developed by Neversoft, which I believe made the Tony Hawk Pro Skaters games. Uh, using the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game engine for the PlayStation 1. The game was later ported from different developers to various systems, including the Game Boy Color, the Nintendo 64, the Dreamcast, and Microsoft Windows. The game features narration oh, from co-creator Stan Lee. And Kipo Fun 2.30. Yo! For... Thank you, Mibusin. I appreciate that. Tossing out some food for Kupo. I will put that directly towards him. I promise. He deserves it more than I do, even though he's the king of the castle. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate that. Cheers. Straight to Kupo's claws and mouth. Um, thank you. It 
is the first Spider-Man game following their acquisition of the license, which is only in four years. So, really quick, some of the voice actors from both Spider-Man and Spider-Man Unlimited cartoons reprise their respective roles. So you get to hear the original Peter Parker. You get Jennifer Hale as Black Cat. You get Stan Lee. You get a bunch of awesome little cameos. And uh, it received generally positive reviews. Since it was a big game, you know, everyone rated it. So Eurogamer gave it a 7.5 or whatever. Uh, a 9 out of 10. EGM gave it a 7.83. Game Informer gave it an 8. Game Pro gave it 4.5 stars. Uh, official PlayStation Magazine gave it a 5 out of 5. This was a heavy hitter. Let's see how it looks, shall we? Hello, Holly. 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 Piston Hurricane. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, dodge, knockout. That's it. That's all it is. There is no dodging. Up, down, up, down. But I didn't want to say anything because you're a really cool person and you have to learn yourself. I was watching Holly play Super Punch-Out!! And I almost wanted to super punch out her stream because Piston Hurricane was rocking her world. But it was still fun to watch, and I really loved that game, and it was a great stream. Thank you for being here. <laughs> up, down, up, down, dodge, knockout. Mamma mia! My wife keeps insisting we try 69, but I think we should keep the thermostat at 72 degrees this winter. Oh my god, what have I done? Taxes suck the Lithby one. <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys are super kind, throwing in the jokes, throwing in the fun. I really appreciate it. Honto ni arigato gozaimasu. And we get to hear the Lithby one, and the original Spider-Man song. So let's enjoy that for a minute. And what's up, Ryugami-sama? Ohio gozaimasu. And Holly, I'm very proud of you. Oh, I was not going to tell you in chat. Sometimes those you got to learn super punch-out lessons on your own. Oh! Is... Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. What remix is this? What remix was that? Wow, when I got mono my senior year of high school, everyone went on senior vacation except for me. I went to, wait, I want to hear that one more time. I went to uh, my bedroom and played Super Punch. I went 16 and 0 because I couldn't. Oh, man. Oh, man, I remember this. Wow. It's a great menu. I'm normal. You collect magazines or comics in this game. Technology is the light that will cut through the darkness. When humanity conforms to a single truth, a truth based in technological progress on scientific method, we will be unstoppable. I, Dr. Otto Octavius, vow as a scientist and businessman that my duties to humankind will be fulfilled. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, nice words, Octavius. These executives knew you the way I do. I wonder if they'd be so quick to applaud. Just keep shooting, Eddie. When J. Jonah Jameson sees these photos, my career is gonna be right back on track. Check one one, where's your 20? Just backstage, call us. Oh. What? Who dares? Face me, coward! Face a worthy foe. Who's that? Spider-Man? <laughs> Last time I checked, I was Spider-Man. Spider-Man? What's he doing? Gotta get into my costume and take out this imposter. I can't 
get free of this crowd. <laughs> Can't get a shot. <laughs> Jameson would pay any price to get this kind of dirt on Spider-Man. Move! That was Eddie Brock. Who the? He looked familiar, but... Yeah, whatever. Stay focused, Brock. He... He's stealing Octavius's device. Oh, no. He sees me. My camera! No! Ah, it's over. It's all over. I blew it again. Oh, I can hear Jameson's voice already. Brock, you loser! If I had given a real photographer that job, I would finally have the evidence to send Spider-Man away forever! You're through, Brock! When I am done with you, you won't be able to get a job taking wedding pictures in Siberia! I tried to fight it. Can't fight him anymore! Again, innocence falls prey to the evil of Spider-Man. Rest easy, Brock. Venom is here. And if it's the last thing we ever do, Jameson and the Insect are gonna pay. Phase one completed. Let us begin phase two. <laughs> is that carnage? I have played this 22 years ago. And that explains why we can't see the streets when we're swinging around. Wall Street crashes, Spider-Man and the bank heist. It's cool, they gave a custom comic for episode one. Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. Stan Lee. So get ready for a true superhero action thriller packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns, more super villains than you can shake a web at, and of course, non-stop web-slinging, wall-crawling action. That is a great intro. And he... He is a great... Hey, Spider. Yeah? Hey, Black Cat. What's going on? I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being robbed, and they've got hostages. Use your Spidey compass to get to the bank quickly. <sighs> Thanks, Cat. <laughs> uh, eyes up here, buddy. All right. So, first of all, clean UI, right? That's my first thing is I'm looking at, and it's got a nice camera angle. You have a nice, clean UI. You have web canisters. Those hostages need my help. Okay. Hey, Spider-Man. Come over here. When a building is close enough, you can swing to it. Press the jump button and then press and hold the R2 button while in the air to swing. The what? Gotta get to that bank. Pretty slick. What's up, Cat? Spidey. That's a web cartridge. You can carry up to ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could have just told told me that before. Tony Hawk is another amazing game. So if, if you're just tuning in, she can fly. Black Cat has new powers. Uh, if you're curious, like well, you know what's going on? Why are we playing? What is this timer? What's this shit? So basically, I wanted to have a retro rundown until Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comes out. And one of the ways that I wanted to do that was by it's tingling. Something's going on here. One of the things we wanted to, I wanted to do was... What's Hello, up? Fists of Fury. Hello, Fists of Fury. I should have voiced at least one video game. Come on. I should have been able... I can do one video game. I'm already at full health. I'm already at full health. See? Um... Okay. Take that, scumbag. 
He's dead. He disarmed him. He's not dead. I'll finish this thought now. So the thing that I'm... I'm gonna finish the sentence. Here we go. It's hard. There's a lot of tough things. He's dead. Two. I didn't choose PlayStation. Oh, fuck! Eagle One to Tower 1033 in progress. In route to bank. Roger, Eagle One. Keep your eye out for Spider-Man. Cutscene saved. If Halloween boy shows up, he's one dead buck. Cutscene saved. You're going to see the police department. He and he did it at once. They found her arm and her head. What? Okay, there's no more tangents after this. You guys are serious. All right. <laughs> okay, 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 Pete. Okay, Pete. This, this chat is serious. All right, here we go. Does whatever spider can. Spins a web any size. Catches thieves just like flies. Watch out. Here comes a tangent man. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to say it very clearly and very simply. Ugh. I didn't freeze it. I paused it. So basically I chose 20, 25 games of my youth that I specifically remember being excellent games that I feel are quintessentially PSX classics that really don't get revisited or respected nearly enough. Of course, we know things like Final Fantasy VII, Metal Gear Solid, a lot of the RPGs, Tomb Raiders, you know, some of the Jack and Daxter's PS2, um, Crash Bandicoot and the like. All of those are huge franchises that are respectfully played enough or people already revisit them. And I thought it'd be good, kind of interesting to see... Well, here's the games I thought were five out of fives, four out of fives, or my first experiences on the PSX. And, you know, back in the day, we were able to play these games for weekends or weeks and share them with each other. Now we can barely do 30 minutes before, you know, we kind of lose interest. And uh, this is not a commentary on that so much as it is. I wanted to give the people who watch this channel a kind of way to say like here it is here's all of our cool stuff that we used to watch back in the day here's what we used to play how do you think it is in its own era not compared to bloodborne and elden ring and you know the last of us or uncharted how does it feel looking at it through right here just as a single experience that's what we're trying to do what's up nathexon how you doing man how's blinks and that's what we're doing. It normalized co couch co-op gaming for the 90s. It, we should normalize it. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thank you. We're playing. Uh, I'm just glad the graphics got better. Me too. The graphics and the camera angles are the biggest hangups with going back. But in this era, think about it. We went from only using cartridges to having tons of new sound. Like, look, we had Stan Lee. We had the voice acting from all the cartoons. This is like an, a huge upgrade over like, you know. The ground quakes. Hey, Cho Kuen. Not a huge upgrade over Hey, Cho. Thank you. And Howie, thank you for tossing a gift sub to Nithexen. Appreciate that. <laughs> and if you go back to the Super Nintendo, it would sound like this. It would be like you're playing Ogre Battle and you capture some place and they say. Maybe we should. You just the feed for the princess. And you're like, what? What did you say? I have no idea what's going on. And so it's cool that you have Stan Lee. It's cool that you have full music tracks. It's cool that you have all this cool shit going on. And this is Activision's Speenderboon. I remember loving this game. And specifically, I collected every single comic that you get as like a bonus. And I there's lots of neat hidden costumes. Police choppers. Yeah, just my luck. I'll probably get blamed for that too. Is that the bank ahead? <clears throat> yes, but be careful, Spider. I saw the chopper drop. That is off Commander Shepard, Fim Shep. Thanks for the heads up, Cat. All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, also, you know, 
these kind of things happened a lot too. You sometimes you get your old grundle stuck and you got to get that scratch out. I'm hurt. These will help restore my health. These will help restore my health. Okay. A lot of, I'm you know. I'm already at full health. I'm already at full health. I bet I can get into the bank through the top of this building. Whoa! Took a little shit uh, when I that fell right. and it's sprayed it on syndicate. the building. Dr. Peter Forhevius and Q Page hatch a nefarious tax evading plan. Can our brave hero Milkerman provide fresh milkers to I'm the citizens for health. a small amount of gifters? Find out in Milkerman's Gooselinging Adventures. <laughs> I wish that was the case, Arthur. I wish Koopa would go with me on adventures, but he won't. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the last one. Hope these hostages are still all right. Wait. Uh. Okay. There you have it. Find out in Milkerman's. Am I Milkerman? That's my nickname. Uh. My name is Peter. I'm something of a gamer myself. No, the, the timer on the screen is a... We're giving each game 30 to 60 minutes. So it's kind of a... It's a way for us to revisit politely some of these titles. But we have about 17 more games to get through, if we even get through them all. I don't think he works here. hey oh, joke time. Looks like I've got company. <laughs> Oh, there's kicks, too. Can you do, like, a dodge in this game? Is there, like, a spidey sense? I'm Professor Peter Forhedius. I'm here to tell you about the lab that was broken in... Look at that guy doing his morning yoga. Oh, stretch. This job sure stinks. I should just get a break. Can't relax. You have hostages. I have oh. Make sure they don't get hurt. Easy as pie. Another wow. one taken down by your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That guy just... There's still combat going on. He just ran. He was like, I'm out of here. Looks like that room there controls the security doors. The door is locked from the inside. There's got to be another way in. Can zip straight to the ceiling by pressing R1. Oh, baby. Okay, no. I see it. I see it. This is called good game design. Let me show you. I am officially Peter Parker. I'm already at full health. Check this out. This is like uh, pathing in video games is something I never thought about as a kid, right? I just wanted to play the game and have fun. I think that it doesn't get enough. What's this say? Little tutorial. Holding down the L1 button allows me to target my web. If the reticle turns green, I can press R2 to swing to that point. Wow! So, like, right here, you can see for, like, a dumb gamer like me, oh, this must be... And they gave you a cool spider signal to let you know this is the place that you can hit R1 to do your zippy zop. Kind of neat, right? It's pretty clever game design. All, oh, okay. <laughs> all things considered. Looks like these switches can open the security doors. But holy god, this I'm camera is health. struggling. <laughs> oh, struggling. I let I let guys in. Oh. Only one at a time, huh? I'm already at full health. We'll do this one first. <laughs> Yoga guy can uh, escape. Oh no, we opened them all. Bang! No, for PS1, I'd say the graphics are, are pretty, or the camera's pretty good. Uh, I mentioned this yesterday, but Without a doubt, without a doubt, the single most challenging thing that every game faced 
when they came out on the PlayStation 1 and a lot, to be honest, the PlayStation 2 as well, is the camera. Can they get past full health. this camera issue? Oh, no, please, no. Wow, did you see his face? No. I'm already at full health. Please, no. I can pick up an object by pressing punch, and I can throw the object by pressing punch again. <laughs> you were too dumb to beat the first level? I mean, I don't blame health. you, man. It was a... Uh, I was... How old was I when this came out? 16. I was 16 when this came out, and it... I, I loved it. Um, I don't love this. Man, I struggle with hair I have now. I can't imagine having Super Saiyan hair that uh, you, uh, you had. Who? Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? <gasps> Spider-Man carries sofa. We're redesigning, uh, this whole, this whole beautiful building. You were five, Holly? Well, going down. Oh, Dot in his rave days. Oh, yes. Dot had quite the long hair until I... I mean, I was stunned when he cut it randomly. Wait, wait, wait. L2. Wait, no. L... Whoa! Look at this. This is awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure that this game truly... Oh, no, please, no. <laughs> Bruce Campbell is on the amazing Spider-Man games in the GameCube. No. Oh, no, please, no. Oh, Alright, alright, listen. I'm, I'm going to add that too, because we added three new sound effects, right? We have... Oh, yes. We have that. We have. Here we go. And of course, we have. Cool borders. I'm going to add uh, no. Please, no. I feel like you guys might be able to get some use out of that. Yeah. I'm already at full health. Or maybe that one, too. I'm already at full health. You missed Cool Borders twice. Last night was the... It was not the best, and today was even worse. <laughs> look! Look! It's a clue! See? Mind if See? I drop in? <laughs> Mind if I drop in? Bang! He shot me in the stomach. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. He's dead. Oh, yes! I doubt that really hurt me more than it hurt you. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Mind if I drop in? Bang! Game over. <laughs> And then he said, ah, that would hurt me more than it hurt you. Yeah, you got shot. Hey, you! There you go. It looks like Spider-Man is robbing the uh -oh. bank. More hostages and a bomb. What? Really? And careful, a bomb? Peter. What? Oh, big safe. There's my gold boolean, or it's a haystack. Can I pick these up? Nope. I know, I'll put the hostages in the safe. They're messing with us. Start the timer on the bomb and take out all the hostages. Hey! Oh. 
The robbers have been taken care of, but what can I do about the bomb? Think, Spidey, think! Okay, wait, let me check this first. Pressing punch will also allow me to pick up objects. I know, I'll put it in the gold bullion room, and then I'll close the door. That's... Oh, shit. If you... <laughs> it goes faster, but that's some nice bass. <laughs> Big Brain Pete. Here Not we go. this time, guys. See, no problem. Blew up the bank. Saved the robbers and the bankmen. That was the bomb that can take out a whole block or just a small little space. Goodbye. Ooh, Sting of the Scorpion. That bomb took out 15 billion in U.S. gold. Oh. Jonah. I have shot to the bank robber. Parker, shut up and dial 911. Scorpion is here, and you have to. Oh! You had a cell phone? Uh oh, Spidey. Scorpions had it out for old J. Jonah Jameson from day one, blaming Jameson for being stuck in his scorpion suit. Spidey had better get there quickly, uh -oh! or JJJ may end up in the obituaries of his own paper. God, Stanley's amazing. And you're right, Holly. Oh I shit, I gotta hurry. Far away. Stanley, baby. I jump forward and then swing. I bet I can reach it. You're right. Why didn't he just call the 911? He called his photographer. Ah. Oh. He called his... He, I make this look easy. He called his photographer to... Uh-oh. To say... Hey, can you please call 911? Also, you're fired. Also, there's no buildings. He's kind of an idiot. I guess that's true. Did you? I'm did... sorry about that. <laughs> Get away, dog! I'm... Hey! Hey! Wait! Did you see that? I had like cool. Okay. Uh, anyway. Oh! Uh-oh! <sighs> You've come. Friends. What's up, D? Uh-oh, Spidey. Scorpions had it out for old J. Jonah Jameson from day one. Blaming Jameson for being stuck in his scorpion... Okay. The, the sad thing was, is if you were to watch like a CCTV footage of that, Spider-Man just randomly threw webs left and right everywhere. And uh, then he just jumped off the building and died. <laughs> he was just going like, just trying to do weird web moves and then ended it. This is a program called Retro Rock. Okay, Goose Flash. You gotta follow the Spidey compass. Oh, okay. There's a Spidey compass. Um, this is called RetroArch, and you can choose a variety of different emulators. Of course, I own all of these games legally, so it's okay. Yes? I'll try, yeah. Sorry about that. And... Alright. Get away, Gargan! Your time is running out! <laughs> That's amazing. What the? F oh yeah. 
There, man, there are so many sound effects in this game that I want to use for ours. Oh, the thing! You didn't ask me what I used it on that, Holly. You asked me what uh, the sound effects. Um, the sound effects I'm using is a place inside of the chat bot from Streamlabs. Hey, I'm not sure what emulator this open. The sooner we take out Spider-Man, the sooner the boss pays us. Hey. Bang! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I hope Jameson's still alive. I don't really care if he's not. Oh yeah! Nani? Yosh! Tally ho and off to the races! Ha this game is awesome. That must have hurt. Yeah, it's not bad. Honey, I mean, honey, honey. it's still to this day pretty good. I'm already at full health. There we go. We made it just in time. Easy game. Easy operation. Honestly, the best part of this game was the swinging. Wait. Listen, Gargan, it's a new millennium. Lots of high tech. There may be some way we can get you out of that suit. You put me in this suit. Now I'm going to make you pay. Get over it, Gargan. You ruined my life, so now I'll end yours. That's fair. I mean, I think he's got a pretty good point. Leave him alone, Chuckles. Butt out, Webhead. Spider-Man? I asked for the police, and I get this? Leave him alone, Chuckles. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. Where are you? We can still make a deal. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh shit. Oh, this is hard. This is seriously tough. What the hell? No! He Okay, okay, I got this. I just gotta focus. Uh, uh, save state. <laughs> save state. That's what I want to do. I think the, yeah, the strategy is definitely use your IKEA furniture. Or, okay. 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 I know what to do this time. Leave him alone, Chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I... 
I got it. I got it. You are big <laughs> I got it. I got it. He's got a mean left hook. This game would really benefit from a dodge mechanic. Struggling. No, no, no. I figured it out. I'm pretty clever. <laughs> Where are you? Ah, kick him in the groin. <laughs> Bam! Put him in a body bag. I don't know what you're trying to pull by saving my life. But it won't work. Oh, you're just too clever for me, JJ. Tony Hawk Pro Skater in the background, did you see the that? The man behind the science expo heist. Shoot him now! Shoot him! JJ, you are out of the wheel. I mean it this time. I never noticed that when I was playing it before. Until, like, today. Hold it, Spider-Man. I don't want to believe that you pulled off the heist today. But I've got to make sure. Daredevil, I haven't got time to explain. Just tell me your side of it. I'll know if you're lying. How am I supposed to know you're the real Daredevil? What? Listen, it's true. A Spider-Man made off with Octavius' new invention. But not THE Spider-Man, not me. Somebody's framed me. Why? I don't know yet. And if New York's finest catch me, it may be too late. Well, then you'd better get going. NYPD is coming fast. That's it? You believe me? I don't have to believe you. I know you aren't lying. But how? Let's just say you've got your superpowers, and I've got mine. I'll spread the word about your innocence. Not that it'll help with the cops. Good luck. Since when have I had any? Uh-oh. Dude, I totally forgot this game has a ton of cameos. He was in No Way Home, briefly. Uh, I forgot about that. And I thought... I, I guess I'm mistaken, but I thought... Could you play as Daredevil in this game? They did a great job with this game. It's really, really well done. You get to play as the Fantastic Bagman. You get to you get all these cool Spider-Man costumes. There's obviously no, you know, DLC. Hey, wait! I'm not the bad guy. Keep moving, Spidey. Oh, this is harder than Warhawk. Oh no. Close. They're just gonna blow up everything in this whole city just to kill me? This is like apartments. What the fuck? Easy operation. Easy operation. Okay, we're not done. Whoa! It was an imposter! This is loud. Here's the Okay, cool game design. It's only targeting it's only targeting the cool wooden stuff, so you can You can figure it out on your own if you're, you know. I'm stuck. Let's see if we can cheat the system. Nope! Oh, it gives you lots of time. It was an imposter! Ah, classic video gaming. Explosions, 3D gameplay, checkpoints, glitches. Negative on shot. <laughs> Dude, these guys are awful cops. No, we hit that civilian building again. 17 casualties. Ah, oh, well. Negative on shot. Stormtrooper aim indeed. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> that killed me? That killed me in one bullet? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? That's ridiculous. On one shot? Lost in base. You're mine. Uh, what? Take the shot, base. Uh, he moves too fast. You're mine. <laughs> You're mine, wall crawler. You're mine, wall crawler. Okay, 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 okay. Six bullets. Oh! It's the middle one. Okay. It's the middle one. It's the middle. This game is too loud, okay? This game is too... This game is too loud. Can't stop, won't stop. Pilot, so I blasted him with a missile. Easiest shot of my life. The guy was too busy taunting to move. Premier smile, Premier wow. <laughs> I was... I was not taunting. I wasn't sitting there just taunting. Taking the shot, base. Uh, he moves too fast. Yeah, will Don't you lie. shoot too slow, dickhead? Keep chomping, he dickhead. You're mine, Lord. You're mine, NYPD. Positive on hit, base. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm not a boomer. Stop now, Spidey. See? Easy operation. I didn't know they were cheating. Okay? I didn't know that there was some weird cheating going on, okay? Hey. Hello? Stealing isn't my style. Oh! Jump it, April! This is a hotel? This is the biggest hotel in all of Manhattan happening! Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got that's he's just a construction worker. It is kind of thrilling gameplay, though, for me. They have, like, Warhawk missiles from... The... 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 He pistol... Okay. There was dudes in there, and they still fired? Jerry G was right. Should have stayed home today. I went the wrong way. <laughs> this is the wrong way. 100% wrong way. Okay. 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 Don't know what I'm doing up here. All right. Fuck it. We'll do it live. All right. Ooh, okay. Uh, jump. That was a good. That was a good one. All right. Perfect. Bang. Dude, they just caused hundreds of millions of dollars in property damage. Okay. Uh, Enough with the shooting already. No kidding. I didn't even do anything. I All I did was climb straight up on that segment. You're mine. Got him in my How tall is this thing? Ah, negative on shot. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, baby. Wait, I got stuck on the w uh, Grundles. Okay. Fucking go up. There we go. We got it. Watch this. Bang! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Safe. Alright, this segment's gone on a little bit too long, I would say. Are we still f Uh oh. This has been a really long segment. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! We're all right, we're all right. This is the rest of the entire game. Uh It's a bit much. It's a bit much. <gasps> Much. Oh, God. Man, this is Spider-Man. Man, it's re I can't speak English. That's all right. It's just all procedurally generated. Uh, how you doing, Halberdier? Surprise, motherfucker! Monsters <laughs> infest shores. <laughs> Okay. It has a pretty banging soundtrack, though, if I'm being honest. Saw you on Chris's channel. Well, thanks for swinging by, man. Today we're, well, the next few days, until the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, side-scrolling game comes out, we're playing some old PS1 classics, baby. We're turning back. Wait a minute. Check this out. Secret unlocked. I'm already at full health. Uh, never mind. There is nothing there. So, we're playing some old PSX classics, and we have, like, a time limit to how much we can enjoy it, because, frankly... A lot of these games are a little bit past their their comfort level. Like, I think a couple of hours at most is what... I feel like this game, though, honestly, has really... I think it's it's done remarkably well. I would still... I think I could play through this entire game and, and probably, like, enjoy it. It's got some cool mechanics, some decent fighting. Good sound effects, great voice acting, great voice acting in, in air quotes, but you know what I mean. It's super fun. Maybe this is one of the ones that we... Uh, I got shot, 15! Maybe this is one of the ones that we pick up at a later date. Oh. Hey, you gonna pay for that tower? Uh-oh. Spider sense tingling. One more step and it's a load of web fluid sticking you to that wall. Well, it's not the most romantic proposition I've ever had. Black Cat? Oh, I'm so glad it's you. Good to see you too, big boy, but you got a problem. Venom's got control of the Jumbotron in Times Square. He's been ranting for hours with a message for you. Venom's ugly face on that big screen? Now that's scary. That's not all. Rhino's on a rampage over at Omnitech as well. What is this, the bad guy Olympics? Look, Times Square's on the way to <laughs> Omnitech. Let's find out what Venom's up to, and then we'll tackle Rhino. <laughs> That's... <laughs> the Venom Marathon Clinton, honey, on honey, the honey. TV in New York. We're shouting out to the whole big rotten apple here, people. <laughs> Sad thing is, he'll probably get his own talk show for this. So, we've got this beautiful redhead. You know her. She's one of those famous bimbos. <laughs> We have decided that this poor little lassie has 24 hours to live. 24 hours! Oh, by the way, her name is Mary Jane Parker. <laughs> no, not Mary Jane. So, just in case someone, uh, I don't know who it could be, if any of you type-wearing freaks out there want to save little Miss Fashion Model, then bring it on! <laughs> 
Meanwhile, New Yorkers, the Venom Marathon. Oh God, her face. Listen, I realize what this means. Forget about helping me with the I know by yourself? Nice cat, but no thanks. Oh. Being Spider-Man has given me a lot and taken a lot away. But one thing never changes. My responsibility to use my powers for others before myself, no matter what the cost. There are innocent people at Omnitech, and they need our help right now. I won't let them down. Then I'll stop Venom. And this time, it's for the last time. What? Those Omnicrons? Wow. Pretty impressive. Hey, Allie, how are you doing? Well, the question of why did they make her face like that is because... Well, okay, for one thing, if you... Peter Parker in the, in the cutscenes also, he looked awful. Peter Parker looked like, like this. He, he was like... Let me try to... He was... Well, that was the, what he looked like. His face was caved in. His lips were gone. And it was bad. That was, was that was that was very accurate. Oh yes. <laughs> Hail to the Triang Booba era. Exciting teens since the late nineties. The Triangle Boob era. Premier smile. Premier wow. The Triangle Boob era was uh, a a different time. I think it was heavily inspired by Madonna in the 80s, and they just thought, you know what? We have polygons, about 12 of them. We'll just have two, we'll just have a triangle. And then it wasn't much better for the guys. The guys in these old games, they were they were the triangle of the different type. Their bodies started here and then just were an arrow pointing to their dick. It was terrible. It was just Lara Croft was the most guilty. Um, all of these superheroes. I do think that maybe some of the reason these superhero games do, did so well is that you have those masks and you can't see people's face. It's a lot better that way. It was it was dick focused design. We all know it. I'm just the only one ready to say it. Let me see what I missed from Yugami-san right here. Have you checked out the classic offerings in the new PS Plus? I did. I actually picked up two of them. I went ahead and just went all in on the PS ex experience. I bought like the premium thing and I'm hoping it's good. Surprisingly, they did have Jumping Flash, which is on the list of games, but I still think that I'll play the Jumping Flash of uh of the the classic just so we can properly see how it is when it was released instead of of something else like, you know, uh-oh, trying to play a new version of it. Rhino's Vampage. Hey, you suck. Does everyone have ropes? <laughs> We're too late. That makes two major technology heights in two days. There's uh, one question. Where's Rhino? Cat! Well, if it ain't Bug Boy. Uh oh. <laughs> Boy, Spidey fans, Black Cat is out. Rhino's looking to take Spidey down as well. Ooh. Okay, that was way faster than I thought. Okay. Oh, God. Ooh, are your ears ringing? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One more time. Do the thing where you charge at me. Come on! Oh, fucking... The... The that was the thing where it did the thing where it's supposed to I know he's supposed to charge the poles but he he scanned through both he did the thing where he, he skipped okay it's just 
Boys, the hit. Spidey fans, Black Cat is out. Rhinos look. I didn't mean to skip you, Stan. My bad. Oh, I got an. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh. Hey, did you get a charge out of that? Oh, what? Struggling. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Wait, really? It's kind of wonky. Oh, boy, Spidey fans, ah! Black Cat is out. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Hey, that is expensive equipment. Oh, he did two. He did three the first time. He did three. Hey, did you get a charge out of that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I blew it. I blew it. You saw it. It's double? Rhino Burgers coming up. Rhino Burgers coming up. Hey, that is expensive equipment. It doesn't work to jump. If you jump, you get Struggling. you get you get gored through the well, I'm going to say it frankly. You get gored through the and then right up through Nobody wants that. Certainly not me, not Spinder. <laughs> All right, one more try. One more try. Rhino Burgers coming up. Oh, boy, Spidey fans, Black Cat is out. Oh, Rhino's oh. going to take Spidey. No boy, Spidey fans. Pete really sucks. At ah! <laughs> Let's go, hey, Rhino Bergs. Look at you all lit up. Look at you all lit up. Yeah, look at me learning now, everybody. Ooh. Why jump when I've gotten so much better? Hey, did you get a charge out of that? Hey, did you get a charge out of that? Eh? There you are. Yeah? What? Stay away from the summoner. I got it. There's no way I fucked this last one up. Watch this. Bang. Please die. No! No, I did the move! I swear to God! I did the the I did the 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 web ball!
any he he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do you it. You did well. I I <laughs> struggling. Boy, Spidey fans, Black Cat is out. I swear I did the web thingy. Maybe not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Listen. I know there's a jump button. I know there's a jump button. I know there's a jump button. I swear to God. I know there's a jump button. But I don't want to use the jump button. I don't want to use the jump button. I want to use the fun button. Why do you guys... Why do you guys insist on the jump button? It's not as... It's not as realistic. Watch this. There's no way I F Ooh, this up. That hurt. But chat, there was a way to F this up, and he did. Spoodamon died a grisly death. Premier fall. Premier wow. <laughs> hey, that is expensive equipment. Yeah. Ooh, shocking. With great power comes mad effing hops. Hey, did you get a charge out of that? Yeah, there's your jump button. This is so cool. I got him this time. Whoa! Watch and learn. There's your jump buttons. There's your jump. Are you thirsty, worsty? Okay. Okay. I'm not letting this... This is getting dumb. <laughs> no, 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 I got it. 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 What the fuck was that? Motherfucker. Ooh, are your ears ringing? Spider sense to Done. Oh, the boys in blue again. Better hide. Best seat in the house. Octavius, what's he doing? Please, stand back, officer. Allow me. Doc Ock helping the police? Maybe he is reformed. Ox taking care of Rhino. I need to Easy find game, out first try. It. This is a job for Peter Parker, not Spider Man. Oh, she got gored. Hey, wait, Cat. Cat, it's Peter. Peter. Gotta help me. <laughs> not really Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> No spider sense? And thus ends our Spider-Man playthrough for today. Lots of hemming and hawing and, and backseat jumping, but you know what? I think at the end of the day, we showed the rhino, and I showed you that to many problems, there are many solutions. And I think that's the most important thing that we can take from that. What do you guys think? I think that this 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 game from back in the day, I would have given a five out of five Koopo coins if this was back in like the day, right? 
How do you guys think that this game holds up now compared to other games in the PlayStation Pantheon? Not compared to the Activision, PS4, Spider-Man, or, you know, other Batman Arkham Asylum. I think, let's see what you think. Some fours? Some threes? Some threes? I give it a five, but I also have nostalgia goggles. We're supposed to have nostalgia goggles. We're looking right there at the bottom. It says, let's pretend like it's 1999. Do you think we'll ever be able to fit any more polygons into a character, Pete? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe if we get more bits. I feel like we don't have enough bits. Do you remember the Gex games? I do. I do remember those. And I'm going to give it five spider spoodles out of five. I think that was a fun game. Great voice acting. Amazing. Uh, you know, Spider-Man is in there. <laughs> it's got some really cool art and crossovers and, and characters and cameos. And it has a bunch of really neat stuff. I'm going to take a drink of water. We're going full screen for a second. Ah, cool game. Super neat. I'm a fan. That's so cool because this is stage four and it says like issue number four. So they have like their, I know that those were custom comics, but I like that it gives you a little teaser of, of what's, what's to come and like what's in it. Pretty slick. It's also the furthest we've gotten in any video game in an hour, I think, so far, which, to our credit, is pretty rare because we suck at video games, I guess. But I had a... That was a, that was a kick-ass one. Super slick. Super fun. Give me a second. All right. Next up on the great PSX wheel, what will we see? Stage three cleared in an hour? It's a record. So we still have Air Guys, Ridge Racer, Time Crisis. Here we go. Destruction Derby, Jumping Flash, NFL Blitz, Loaded, PO'd, Bloody Roar slash Toshin Den, Bushido Schools 2, Nightmare Creatures. I don't want to play that one. Twisted Metal 2, Frogger, Disruptor, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater it's and Air out, Guys. And away we go. So close to air, guys. Do you have a gun? I don't, but I, I think I can play it. Let's see where we go. Does anyone remember V2000? That I do not. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Bloody Roar and Battle Arena Toshinin. Yeah, bye. Bloody Roar is the best intro theme. Fight me. Uh, excuse me. I totally agree with you. Although I used the when I was first. Can we just skip? Wait a minute, skipping? Why would you skip? Do you have a gun rack? Why would I have a gun rack? I don't even have a gun, let alone enough guns to necessitate an entire rack. Are you mental? A gun rack. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. It just, if we don't get to your game today, it just means that there's going to be really great games tomorrow. No, those games are underrated, Riku. Uh, you like pizza tire? I have a Henley shirt, glasses, and a scarf. I think I wear that almost every stream, but I'll say, Lin Ling, thank you very much. I do appreciate- What time do I pick up the clothes, Yuki? Alert! The center control point is being captured. What? What's up, Pendragon Mordred? What's that? All right, let me get that big raid. What's up? What's up? 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's Mudon, my guy for tomorrow. Mudon TV. What's up? What's up, dude? We are here playing Not some. Interested. Yes, you are interested. Don't you insult me, Howie. Yeah, I have important things to say. How you doing, buddy? Tomorrow, Mudon and I are going to be having a little bit of a quiz game. So I can't disclose more than that, but I have not even told him what his topic is, but I know mine. And I know that if you were to ask me a quiz on my subject, I feel genius level. Pretty confident that there's nothing in his quiz that can shock or scare me. And if I may be so bold, if we have some extra time uh, after that, we will be... Do I have a battle music? Let me see here. I need some battle. High we have... low carbohydrates. <laughs> can you give me a second? It, it broke... Oh, yes. The seas were angry that day, my friends. Cannons. The waters. And a battleship. Are we gonna battle it out in the great open seas? I will have my pipe ready. You'll need more than your pipe to stop my battleship. So join us tomorrow where Mudon and I will battle on the great open seas for fame and the people's ovation. It's going to be fun. I am trashing the room again. And I will... I'm really excited to see it. Mudon was the very first collaboration stream I ever did on this channel. Other than having someone live in the actual studio. So I'm looking forward to revisiting that in a fun and exciting way. So... Um, Give me back my son! Before we can do that, you guys are in for a real shitter of a game that I can play about four minutes of before I turn it off because I absolutely hate it. It's called Battle Arena Toshindin. And to all the new people who came from... Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, Battle Arena Hype. Uh, before I do that, I want to welcome you all to the channel. Thank you. My name is Peter. I'm a streamer in Tokyo, Japan. And today we're playing some old PlayStation classics, but not the PlayStation classics that you're used to. We're playing ones that get often overlooked, but had a huge impact on me and others when we were younger. And to get a better idea of what this stream is about, here's a little intro to let you see what we're kind of up to. There you have it. That is us. That is who we are. And to give you guys a little, a little, uh, can I reset this game, please? Restart the title. Here is Battle Arena Toshinden's intro. Whoa. <laughs> 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 
There you go. Lots of <laughs> lots of sound effects. Lots of fun stuff. Battle Arena Toshindin, made by Takata Company, 1995, also known as Tamsoft, uh, who made this. It used to is a Japanese company. Previously worked as a bunch of different games. However, you know, you may have been surprised. They made some other interesting games. I looked it up. Uh, I'm sure we all remember legendary hits as One Chanbara Bikini Samurai Squad. That was on the Xbox 360. Or maybe you were interested more in One Chanbara Bikini Zombie Slayers on the Wii. I can respect that. Oh, I remember. You were into Natsu Uduyo High School Seishun Hakusho? No? Okay. How about Hyper Dimension Neptunia producing? Perfection. They also made Battle Arena Toshinden, and they made Melty Blood Type Lumina, and lots of other just crazy games, including Captain Tsubasa Rise of New Champions. So they've had their hands in many pies for a long time, but... Battle Arena Toshindin, as it's called in Japan, Japanese, Batu Arena Toshindin, is a weapons-based fighting game uh, that was made in 1995 for the PlayStation. It also came out on the Sega Saturn and Game Boy and MS-DOS, which is kind of surprising to me because I always thought of Battle Arena Toshindin as like a PlayStation exclusive. It just felt like that was a PlayStation fighter. And it was announced as a PlayStation exclusive. I remember that. It was being promoted as a Saturn killer against Virtua Fighter. Uh, but it was ported with the Saturn with additional features less than a year later. After fighting games like Tekken started emerging, Battle Arena Toshinden declined in popularity, but still spawned a series of sequel, which are much better than this game we're about to play. And uh, I think you guys will absolutely hate it. <laughs> It got pretty decent scores, believe it or not. Famitsu gave it basically a 10 out of 10. EGM gave it a 3.2 out of 5. Okay, I'm sorry, a 32 out of 40. I guess that's when they were using their weird thing. Uh, GamePro gave it an 18 out of 20. What the hell are these companies doing? Game Informer gave it a 5.8.5 out of 10. And uh, Game Players, my favorite video game magazine ever, gave it a 98. Takara, I don't know what that means. Personally speaking, personally speaking, I thought when this game came out, it was it was absolutely amazing. I was so shocked by the graphics, its 3D battlefield, and its blue sparkles. Treasure, that's what it means. Takara, treasure. So, it's nearly 30 years old. I Teres Kasi is much worse than this, yes. But it does have, if you guys are longtime listeners of the channel, one of my favorite songs that I play during when we're hanging out and I have the P2 radio going. You guys may remember it has one of the best intros to a song ever. It's, it's personally one of my favorites. Do you recall this? I shouldn't have said that till I had this song ready. Do you recall? It's... Yeah, I should have... Uh. D. <laughs> do. Ah! Do you recall this? I love this song. Oh, man. Okay. I, I know I'm geeking out. I understand. I understand this is really lame. I I'll reset the timer. I promise. I, I, 
I'm gonna and I'll turn your sounds. There you go. You got your sounds back. I'm gonna. I'm just geeking out for one second, just one second, because. Do I recall you being silent? Not for that long, Peter. That was a record, I believe. Could almost hear your neighbors returning to their apartments. Premier smile. Premier wow. <laughs> Okay. 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 I will respect the timer. Okay. All right. All right. I want you to listen for two things in the background. One, and it has that great NBA jam kind of drums that it's like. I love those. Number two, it has like this weird like laser sound of like. Wop, 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 wop. And I didn't even get to the good part of the song yet. So let's listen to it one more time. Ready? That was only the first 30 seconds. We're not wasting that. It's the MIDI power drum. And then the, it's the the drums like the the do 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 You know what drums I'm talking about. The NBA jam drums. The NBA jam drums. All right. Give me back my forehead. <sighs> Shut up, Pete. Wait. NBA jam intro song. You know what I'm talking about. That's not the one. That is not it. No. No. T-E. Get- Damn it, Pete! This one. That one. Quap, 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 if you, if you, if you will. And nothing gets me excited, more excited than that little... Pup, 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 pup. So let's cheers to NBA Jam Quap, Quap drums and this Duke song. Everyone grab your drink of water or your, 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 your coffee or your sake or your tobacco or whatever your spit, whatever you're doing. Ah, that's disgusting. Whatever you're drinking. And let's cheers to Duke's song of fortitude. And here it goes. Listen for the lasers. Did you hear that? There's some pew pew. Here's where it gets good. Ready? What a jam. What a jam. That is a great, great track. That's why I love New Retro Wave, capturing the music of the golden age of gaming. I can feel that, Naughty Santa. Synth Pop 90s was the best. So that's where we're setting the stage, right? We have this Battle Arena Toshinden. That's the highlight of the entire game. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The rest of it just sucks really bad. <laughs> Uh, oh, easy. I'll do a 1P game. AG, Kayan, Sophia, Rungo, oh. Mondo, Duke, Ellis. Uh, normally I would play as Duke because his song is the cool fortitude stage. But let's mix it up. I want to try... I want to try Mondo. Alright, this game sucks. I 
forgot about this song. This song rules too! Ow! <laughs> my face! He, he slapped my face! Oh! Shinsu! You mocked me in front of my family! Ow! Who needs soul caliber when you got this, am I right? Give me back my son! Oh, what? <laughs> What? How did that hitbox go through his fucking legs? Ow! I'll tell you what. Oh! Everybody okay? Cross up, bitch! All right, this game's not bad. I'm having more fun with it. No. Give me Duke. Oh, Sophia. Thunder what? Rattlesnake. Oh. Got her. Oh. <laughs> All right, give her the clam slam. Your shot. Got her. <laughs> Stop it. Got her. Okay. Aurora Revolution. We got her. I didn't cheese her. I'm fine. That was safe. No. What's up, Klebs? How is your streak? Give me Duke. Give me Cayenne. Is he a bare knuckle fighter? Nope. Oh, shit. Look in the background. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, a roar revolution. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, a roar revolution. A right hit and boo, you win. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Ah, ah, ah. I know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. 
you've come, friends. Yo, what? This is so awesome. <laughs> oh no! All right, we'll try a new character. New character. New character. New character. New character, new character, didn't count. What's up, Amoy? Uh, and thank you very much, Smash the Egg Man. I am the worst. Yeah, yippee ki in, mother bleeper. Monday to Friday, Mr. Falcon. All right, listen up really quick. Uh, I'm a nice husbando, so I'm stopping the timer briefly. I've got to go pick up the. I I've got to. Yuki did some laundry in the dry machine, and so I gotta go pick it up because it's 11.30 at night, and she already got changed and stuff. So I've gotta be a go husbando. You guys just sit tight, and I'll be back before you can say any of the things that you heard in that game because the sound quality was so bad we don't know what they were saying. But, when I get back, we're gonna try a little bit more Battle Arena Toshin Din, and we're gonna have some more fun tonight. And I'll be right back in just a few minutes. Until then, see you in a few minutes. And remember... Cool Borders! Over here, the story of Premier 2. It's not a story that chat would tell you. We don't fuck around with this stream. This is the real deal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Insane production value for what this stream is? Hot in my loins and cold outside. Oh, whoa. All of this. Not interesting. It sounds disgusting. It sounds disturbing. Do you know that the equivalent of teabagging for a woman is called a clam slam? <laughs> now will you shut up with the mama mias and the... Uh, my God, I had to turn them all off. You guys ruined your chat privileges for an hour. I'm timing you out. Come on. I've masturbated over worst. <laughs> oh my. Well... Yeah, I can imagine. This is pretty good material for that. How do you use this? I... I missed. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Pete's getting... Oh, I almost said horny. <laughs> I meant to say... Not ran... Oh, no. I don't know what I was looking for, but it wasn't horny or randy. I meant to say Pete's getting, like... Warmed up? First, it's over. You bitch-ass tree. Yeah, well, at least I don't hit any damn bananas. <laughs>
ever hear the story of Premier 2? It's not a story that chat would tell you. We don't fuck around with this stream. This is the real deal. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Insane production value for what this stream is? What in my loins and cold outside? Oh, oh. All of this. Not interesting. It sounds disgusting. It sounds disturbing. Do you know that the equivalent of teabagging for a woman is called a clam slam? <laughs> now will you shut up with the mama mias and the ah! My God, I had to turn them all off. You guys ruined your chat privileges for an hour. I'm timing you out. Come on, I've masturbated over worst. Okay, it was not that long. It was. Pete's teeth are brighter than my future. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Laundry is important. You can wait. Thank you. I'm glad that there are some patient folks here and there. <laughs> Apologies. Hey, hey, hey. We were watching something. You know what we're about to watch? A little you bit more battle. Give me back my son. Ow. Toshin Dan. All right. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, tonight's been, I would, I would, thank you very much, Gedricon. I think tonight's been like, Here we go. <laughs> one of the more, you guys know I'm about that stick. I am Rungo. Cosplay, I look like him, I act like him. Thank you, Dazakun. I think for me, uh, this has been a really challenging night. If we... If we have fun tonight, we can have fun any night. What the fuck? You think I look more like foe? <laughs> this, okay. This is... Because we've only played... On, like, we own. <laughs> Smack that. Ow, beef. That put him down. Uh, because we've only played, like, the weirdest of the weird games. Husband of the year. Laundry quest completed. That's right. Laundry quest is done. Oh! Headbutt! Smack him down into the earth. Pl oh wait, plant him. Okay. Bam! Planted. Finally caught a stream and watching many, many VODs. What's up, Super Marum? Glad you could catch it live. We're about to put AG into the ground. Glad you could be here live and in the show. Oh my god, this song! It's good. This is good. That's so sick. We gotta do the laundry, guys. You know, Yuki's also helping me with my laundry, so... It's the least we can plant! Get him out. It's the least I can do to help was go pick up the laundry and uh, because she's trying to get some extra sleep. He is a scuffed. This is like Guile versus Ryu. <laughs> uh, do the. Oh! I want to do the. Grab!
He's surprisingly agile for a big man. All right, smack that beef. There we go. <laughs> what a string hit on the music. It's good music, man. Get ready. Here it goes. The song I love. Here it is. It's my favorite character. Here we go. That's so sick. And he's got the sick ass. He's Siegfried, but cooler. Oh! Do the. Oh, fuck! I, I can't do the things! Oh, one more smack! Smack that beef! No! Ah, uh, I think there's... Uh, you should not be getting ads. You should not be getting ads. I don't know why you are. You did well! I'm very sorry. I might have to contact Twitch because two people have said that. Bang! Ah, uh, he beat me last time. The Duke is dead. That took off 50% of my health? 50? That is in. Take a headbutt. Kyan's true power. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Okay. I'm very sorry. I have no control over a lot of these things, but sometimes Twitch be weird. Uh, also, Kyan should be banned from tournament play. Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. One, one more character. One more character. Wow. Wow. We'll try Ellis. It does need more optic blast. It needs more extreme. Wow, I remember. Oh, God. I'm getting weird. Very young peep. I used to have a huge crush on Ellis. I was like, damn. Is that... Look at those pants. They're like see-through. Oh, boy. I almost killed myself. Except I'm now the old man, I guess. You're right. It's, it's Ellis versus Pete. Uh, no. What the? F <laughs> oh, he's gone. No, I didn't mean I had a crush her because of her see-through pants. That's not what I meant. I was just... I didn't finish the thought. I was trying to say... I was trying to say that there was... It was... The 3D graphics is what did it.
Even Ellis was distracted. I mean, foe. Stop showing your panties to the poor old man. I'm not... Okay. I zoned out until I heard... That's not... Okay, okay. All right. A? She is the worst. <sighs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Let's let's all be happy that that was a draw. I got kind of lucky there. I feel. Every fighting in the PS1 featured an old kung fu guy. It's true. It was established in like the S and K days. Um, I think that Fo just couldn't live without her. She he had to chase her to the ends of the earth. So the lore is that she's the final boss's daughter. Really, she's also the worst fighter I've ever seen in a video game. She just leapt into the Aurora move. A, yeah. A, 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 yeah. Sure you can. A, yeah. You're you're making fun of me. I did the sure you can when you told me to. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> People might be wondering what's going on in there. Anytime, anywhere. Yes. A is the first one. Okay. I've hit this character 17 times. And she has 68% of her health still. How is that possible that I've smacked her around the stage for about an hour saying all of the first letters struggling. of the alpha? I'm not struggling. <laughs> She's not blocking. These are real damage. This is a serious problem. All right. Ah! Oh, the Rekkas! There it is. Don't you dare be Koyan or whatever his name was. Don't be the guy who's cheating and shit. Oh shit, I lost the first round. Okay. A, A, uh, uh, uh. A, A, uh, uh, uh. If you had the sound up on this game in the 90s, you would have had your parents burst in your room at least once. Pete, what are you doing in there? I'm playing Battle Arena Toshinden, Mom. What's that? It's it's a PlayStation game. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Don't come in, though. Ah! 
I've got my rattlesnake out. I mean, she's hitting me with rattlesnake. Got her. <sighs> Pete, this is your mother. It's okay, you're a growing boy and becoming a man. No. Just be sure to keep the volume down when no, we have No, no, no. This is nuts not have this discussion. My mom was on the stream. I, I don't even want to think about that. I think... I think I found... Oh, got him! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, he went very high, and then I hit him with that ass blast twice. <laughs> the old death by ass. Okay, Ellis. Did you see that? Death by Snoo Snoo. God, this game is awful. But it's surprisingly addicting. There we go. Get that knockdown. Put that pressure on. Oh! I know all your tricks, M Mondo. Uh, watch this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't. I. I couldn't. I couldn't get to the right angle. I was still attacking like ghosts. I didn't know he... <laughs> yes! Okay, okay. Tricks. Mine... Oh, no, it's Kyan. Okay. Birdie! Watch this. I know all your tricks, Mondo. Watch this. Struggling. Hey, sure you can. Misses. Mondo, Hadouken. Premier Fall, Premier Fall, Premier. Wow. That's so stupid. Oh, God. Ah. Okay. Okay. <sighs> it's all right. I didn't want to play anyway. I, 
how do I do it? Not. Vega aged 75. I mean, you're not wrong. That's. I think that this, this, I think this game has some weird thing where you can't do, okay. That's enough of this game. It's, hey Pete buddy, it's Kane here. So you know, huh? You're meant to stay on the stage, bro. Get wrecked, scrub, can't deal with me, premier Muppet, premier, wow. E <laughs> I, I know. But it's harder than you think. Do the other. Da, 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 da. Do it! Um, hey Pete, you going to any uh, cons this year? I would I would like to go to TwitchCon. It's but been a while. Prop should hydrate. Good shout. I would like to go to TwitchCon. I just don't think it's feasible this year. So, not sure. Ah, <sighs> thank you very much, World War II Gaming, for the resub. Welcome back. 12 months, my man. It's been a while, huh? What is Locon? Is it in Tokyo? If it's in Tokyo, I've got a shot. If it's in anywhere not in Tokyo, we might be in trouble. Locon D's nuts. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense, the Locon D's nuts. Thank you. You gave him a minute for that? Hey, you're the cager. You gotta do what you gotta do. Con crud be serious this year with the whole COVID thing. Joey ended up getting COVID in the U- I saw that. That sucked so bad. I felt bad for him, for sure. Should have been Lick on. Yeah, I think that's what- I, I think I screwed it up. There, she's dead. Okay. Is there a way that we can just talk for three minutes and the, the timer keeps going it? Oh, this is so. Uh, you got. I gotta play. You're right. Respect the wheel. Oh God, my fingers. Do you like Kane's chicken? I just tried it for the first time. I've never had it. I've never tried Kane's chicken. Looks pretty good though. Got her. I'm not going to sheep con these nuts. I'm not going to do anything like that. But. The, you know, it's interesting. I, I think I've never been... Oh, we get fortitude. That's worth it. I've never... What's up, Dead Creek? I've never been to any con of any kind. I've never been to any kind of, like, Comic Con or Twitch Con or any con. I've always just been just Pete hanging out, doing his thing. I've never been to a game show. I've never been to the Tokyo game show. I am a con. That's as close as we get. Um, but you know what? I think it's like within the next year or two, it's time for me to, ooh, little grundle dump. I think it's time for me to try one. Pete hath developed his own style of martial art that involve if defenestration. I call it Yeet Kune Do. Oh my God, have I done the lifty one? It's not Yeet Kune Do. I didn't, I meant, I was trying to knock him off the stage, but I failed. Ugh. It was a good strategy because Ellis doesn't do any damage. Got him. Got him. I like the... Oh. Hey, if you're having fun, Denier, I'm having fun. Oh, Christ. Yeah, da, 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 da. 
All right, I got this one in the bag. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. It's... Oh! Ah. I don't... It just dawned on me. I don't know how to play. No problem. Shut up. I got... I'm not losing to you, AG. Alright, maybe I am. Oh dear, oh dear, the cage for you, sir. The only compete has done is escape the IRS without paying his taxes. Got this one, time. one in the bag. The bin bag that is Premier Smile Premier Wow. Struggling. Arthur wins. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Arthur wins. Arthur wins. All right. All right. That was brutal and awful and uh, terrible. So it is a fun game. I think it would be more fun if we had like a uh, two player here together, right? Like some co-op stuff. It was at least an exciting game to watch. Well, I'm glad that, that some people were able to enjoy it because it's a tough one. It's a tough one to, to play, but it's still it's still enjoyable in the sense that, like, I love retro games. So, all right, we got one more spin, and then that's done for tonight. We got one last... Um, you're always down? All right, so when you come over, Tokyo Portfolio, we, do, we can't look it up. It'll just be, we'll have a, a retro fighter's night. Rival schools, Street Fighter Alpha, Battle Arena Toshinden, Soul Calibur, Tekken 2. It'll be, it'll be those things. I'll blow on this wheel and see how it spins. Ready? Oh. Really not a good night for games. I blew it so hard it spun backwards. Really not a good night for retro games. But, you know what? I chose them so I can't complain. Do you guys even know what Loaded is? And it's sequel Reloaded? My memory of this game is that it's very good. We have to respect the wheel. Respect the wheel. Respect the wheel. There we go. Let's find out. Loaded, I remember being one Here of the most <laughs> fantastic games that I remember playing. And you'll be surprised. It's one of those graphic ones. <laughs> I'm loaded right now. <laughs> okay, we can't even bullets. I can't even see what the f <laughs> I don't even know what we're looking at right now. Loaded. The sequel reloaded and the prequel unloaded. A. I'll see myself to the cage Nathks and Tank Nathks and Tank Premier Smile Premier Wow. No, 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 no cage. Wow, interplay. 
Gremlin Interactive, made by Iron Mouse. This is her favorite game called Loaded. Let's take a look at what Loaded was all about. Uh, Loaded as a video game is an interesting choice. I remember loving it. Loaded, released as Blood Factory in Japan, is a science fiction themed, top down, multi directional shooter developed by Gremlin Interactive and published by Interplay Productions. Loaded was released on December 12th, 19. Borders! 95 on the PlayStation and was ported to the Saturn the following year. It had its origin in DC Comics as well as the more adult oriented Vertigo Comics, and there was a small graphic novel base in the game. The six playable characters of the game are a combination of villains, anti-heroes, psychopaths, perverts, mutants, and flamboyant murderers. Okay. They are, however, the best hope to stop the intergalactic supervillain nickname FUB, F-U-B, and save the universe. The characters were created and designed with contributions from Garth Ennis of Vertigo Comics and Greg Staples of 2000 AD. Loaded includes macabre humor, over-the-top violence and gore, and lighting effects, but was often criticized for repetitive gameplay. Later in the same year, a sequel was released with mildly improved graphics called Reloaded. It's got high scores from EGM. It got an 8.25. GameSpot gave it a 6.6. .6. Um, Sega Saturn Magazine in 84, and The Next Generation gave the PS1 a 4 out of 5 stars. It was met with mostly positive reviews. The four reviewers of EGM compared it favorably to Smash TV and cited the multiplayer mode as the game's most enjoyable feature. Um, you know. Had good music, I remember. It's not a side-scroller, it's a top-down shooter. Oh, dude, the Red Eye Jedi. What's up, man? It's so great to see you in here. One of the very first followers of this entire channel and the very first person I ever raided. Red Eye Jedi 45 is a legend. He's the Tatooine Toker. He's the... the ta wait, 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 wait. There's three nicknames. There's three nicknames. The Tatooine Toker. Oh... <laughs> Come on, Pete. Where's Dot when you need him? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. He has three. The Warframe Warrior, the Tatooine Toker, and the... Ah, there's one more, but it's gone to history. It's been a while. He's the Warframe Warrior. Is that with an S? What's up, uh, Hailplay? It's nice to be back. It's great to have you back. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's what? What? Players are fairies? That is way out of line in 1995. That, I guess, constituted as comedy. Homophobia in old school edgy games. Boo! I bet the hardcore one. Players are boring, players are confident, players are brutal, and players are loaded. We'll go with boring. Pretty surprising. Different era, I suppose. Oh God, there's Mama, who is uh, she? They have the 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 nipple grenade or ripple grenade. Fwank, <laughs> Fwank with a W. There's Bouncer with his rocket launcher, Cap in Hands. That's who I used to play as. Butch, who's in a dress. I'm liking the new look, man. You look like very Johnny Depp. I appreciate that. I got, I have these these glasses so that I can see in the dark. And then there's Vox. I feel like we're gonna have to play as Fwank.
so here's loaded. We're in the holding cells. Fwank is the scariest. He's going. You going for Fwank, Nathexon? Um, I think you guys might like this game. What's up, Scribbles? So you, you're top down. Wow, I remember to. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. Oh boy. It's not even twins. <laughs> okay. Well, this is very 1995. This is very 1995. It's got... I'm dead? Wait, wait, wait. Those are my vortex bombs. Do I have any other buttons? And I can zoom out. Let the carnage begin! I'll be honest, just looking at it, this, this game already does not hold up particularly well. I remember it being really fun with friends, because you could you could play with like a buddy and you just you just gotta mow through you just gotta mow through everything, you know what I mean? But now that I'm looking at it, it's a bit it's a bit shit. There's no melee either. Wow. It's cool though that a lot of the games we played are from 1995, which I think is neat. What game is this? This is a game called Loaded. And it was a really popular game. I would say that that explosion image that is still used on YouTube. It, yeah, this reminds me of Smash TV. It's like a bad Smash TV, Alley. That's what it was described as in like one of the reviews. I think it's a bad Smash TV. It's not great. But sometimes, you know, part of this was part of the challenge of this particular stream was for me to go back and look at games that were good back in the 90s and see how they I'm dead <laughs> see how they fared this one sucks I will say yeah the screen update with it and like I what I always liked the most about this game, and it's gonna sound pointless, but I always liked its its colors. Right? Like it has some nice coloring when you with like the different lights and stuff. I always remember being a kid and thinking this looked so freaking cool. But in reality, this is just shit. <laughs> it's very fast paced. It does have some enjoyable aspects to it. I think a melee button would do this game a lot. Boom! I'm starting to get the hang of it now, though. Starting to get the hang of it now. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, each of the characters has a different gun. Nostalgia is a harsh mistress. You got that right. You, you remember things a certain way. And I think the map is not too bad. You remember things a certain way, and then when you get a chance to go back to them, you're astonished at just how bad everything truly was. Okay. I also think I liked it because it had blood. And we're still coming from- remember, this game came out before Chrono Trigger, right? This game came out before Chrono Trigger did. 
So we're still in an era where the Super Nintendo was a super valid machine to have with amazing games coming out of it. The Sega Genesis was still making cool stuff on like the Sega CD and all everything like that. So there's still some context to to consider. Oh, got that health right when I needed it though. I'll tell you that much. And so Bedlam came out after this. Now that was a fun run and gun. Well, there was a lot of weird growing pains in the PlayStation. And so like seeing blood in a video game other than, I mean, Mortal Kombat on the, the Super Nintendo, on the very first Mortal Kombat 1 on Super Nintendo, they didn't even have blood. They replaced it with like, you know, sweat. Oh, look, you're in a padded room. I don't think, I honestly, unless you had a game genie, I don't think there was a cheat code for for blood on the, the Genesis had a blood code, A, B, A, C, A, B, B, A. I'll never forget that code. And that was an awesome, that was like a, a revelation. But the Super Nintendo one, unless you had a game genie, did not have anything. Funnily enough, I mean, the, like, from 95 to, like, 90 to, like, 99, really, I mean, blood was just, like, the coolest shit ever. If you had blood in a video game, it was gratuitous, it was excessive, and it was awesome. I think that... Uh, we've gotten a lot better at that since then, haven't we? Like, I don't think people really give a shit about blood anymore. Oh, you're right. I guess the PS2 had some pretty... Gr I think Rockstar kind of made their early money on... On all... Oh, shit! I'm... <laughs> okay. This is harder than Einhander. Boom! Not a... Okay. Is this the entire thing? You just walk around a multi-changing colored room that makes me vaguely sick? That guy's in a straight jacket. I just realized that. I have not played Fire Emblem yet, but it's coming in 2022, I promise. Fire Emblem's gonna be fun. It's, uh, I'm taking a break from RPGs because honestly, I got RPG'd out, which is very rare. I, I don't normally get RPG'd out, but we, on stream, we played Elden Ring to Final Fantasy X to Pokemon Soul Jubilee, and it was, it was a bit excessive. Okay, I'm ready to make my declaration. Loaded as a game, uh, sucks. <laughs> this is not, this isn't even like laughy fun. It's just, it just sucks. Yeah, we're gonna, plus it had some casual homophobia, which really not cool in my eyes. Not a big fan of that either. I'll try to see it through to the end of the level, and then we'll see if it's like... If there's anything that happens after this. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Can I change my... Nope, can't even change your character. <sighs> okay. I want to see the other characters really quick. I want to see if they have a different... What's up, John? Johnny Mole in the house. I want to see if there's a different... You know, playthrough if you pick... A different character. So we tried Fwank, who had the, n the Neutron Spheres. Let's try Mama. How's it going, man? It's going good, dude. 
I'm playing as a giant ripped baby who has fusion spheres. Sweet Jesus. Let's take a look at what this guy can do. Or this baby. <laughs> Tonight's been the roughest night of all video games. I'm just going to tell you straight up. Give me a second. It's not a melee. It does shoot. No, I haven't mentioned it a million times. It's been let me let me uh, let me just kill one guy with uh, get I can't. There we go. <laughs> what? <sighs> cool partners. So That's enough of that game. That's the first and only time I'm going to bin a game. Oh, God, that was bad. Huh. The games that we've played tonight are as... And you know what? I can't end the stream on that. I cannot end the stream on Loaded. Oh, wait. You know what? It wasn't that the games were bad. Uh, That was a tough one. That was a tough one. I... I Tonight we've played in no particular order. We started with Warhawk. Warhawk was a pretty awesome first level. We can all... Let me get out of the way of this. Warhawk was awesome. Cool Borders 2 we revisited briefly. Then we went into... I know we did Battle Arena Toshinden, ESPN Extreme Games. That was fun. That was a fun game. ESPN Extreme Games. Um, loaded, which was honestly the worst game I think we've ever played on this, and Spooderman. Sometimes there is a reason games are forgotten. You're wow. right. You're right. You're right. But you know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. And I'm gonna be honest. I'm glad that we went back to Loaded and and uh and tried it out. Warhawk, Cool Borders 2, Toshinden, ESPN Extreme Games, Loaded. We just watched and Spider Man. I think it was good that I got to see it again because that was a huge game from when I was a youthful kid. Let's all right. What's your guys' ranking on that game? I'm going to give it a solid one, a one star. Got to have the lows to remember the highs, a zero, a negative 10, <laughs> four out of, you know, four stars for the big baby. Yeah, the even though it was really casual and light, I don't excuse it. I know that 1995 was different, and it was the culture. Still kind of lame. And it's, it makes you feel gross when you see it in video games and in movies. And you're kind of like, oh, that's, uh, that's, that's sad. I'm glad we've made progress from that. But... Just on the game's own metrics, not a terribly fun game. Not a terribly fun game. Just kind of whatever. And I think it had some cool stuff. Like, the game does look good, and the game has some nice things, but the gameplay is just really crap. All right, let's see what the final spin. How about Mutant League Football? That's a classic. That is a classic. Uh, I love Mutant League Hockey and Football. Now, let's spin the wheel one last beautiful time and call it. It's not, we're not supposed to replay the games, so it ends on a great one. Probably one of the most influential games of my life. 
Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Ichi. And it's a good one. This is a great, this is a great, great, great title. Now, my question for you guys, why not remove those? This is a great suggestion, Poliosis, um, uh, because I didn't know I could. Um, I'm an idiot. I forgot to do that is my answer. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Tenchu still there? They, <laughs> there's just blank wheels now. There's just blank, ah, uh, wait a minute. All right, give me a second. See, that's why I don't touch things during the stream. That's why I don't do these things. Okay, now they're just ghost entries. All right, so here's the thing. I'm sorry I thought this was a democratic stream. I saw Warhawk before any of these. You didn't respect the wheel, Pete. I you did. didn't respect the wheel. I did respect the wheel. We already played Warhawk. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be, you know, uh, uh, visiting as many as possible. I played it. I started with it. So here's the thing I have a question for. I was watching a lot of streams lately. Blank is the dealer's choice. Well, I can tell you what. Here's, here's what I think. I've been watching a lot of streams and there's been a lot of licensed music lately. Is that okay? Can we do that? As long as we agree that it's like, oh, this is going to be muted at this point portion of this portion of the stream because I feel Tony Hawk without its soundtrack is like almost criminal. Is it TOS? Everybody. Oh. My criminal. Then I'm not going to risk it. Let me, uh, let me turn on the music in this game. Uh, sad. Sad not to have it. What world would we live in if a democracy wouldn't allow you to elect the same person twice 20 up the lane? Well, there are limits. There are term limits in a lot of democratic societies, such as America. There's two terms for presidents, and there's one goddamn term for spin the wheels. So if you, if you, if you want me to, I can just, I can, uh, I can sing the songs. Tonight, go now, gonna beat up drunks! Something sins of sin severe. A uh, tip for you, so suck on my Now ride, 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 ride. There you go. That's from Police Truck. Alright. You know what, though? We can solve fun. <laughs> I, that's the best I got. Let me let me fix one thing really quick. We're going to talk about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. There it is your punishment for not respecting the wheel. Also, yeah, don't like sing the stuff. songs Connor had to delete a VOD for singing well. But then again, it's you, so I doubt they'll bother Premier Smile Premier. Wow. Thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. <laughs> All right, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Let me give you guys the rundown on this legendary game. And I'm, I don't think a lot of you guys need any introduction on it, but if you do, here's what it is. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is a skateboarding game developed by Neversoft, also developed Spooderman that we played earlier. It was released for the PlayStation in September 29th, 1999. My freshman and sophomore year of high school. It was also in the N64, the N-Gage, the Game Boy Color, and the Dreamcast. 
Takes place in a 3D uh, environment, permeated by an ambience of punk rock and ska music. The player takes control of a variety of famous skateboarders and must complete missions by performing skateboarding tricks and collecting objects. The game offers several modes of gameplay, including a career mode in which you have to do a lot of objectives. You also have a free play mode in which you can just skate and have fun and a multiplayer mode for competitive games. It was met with critical acclaim for all versions, but the Game Boy Color version, which had a more mixed reception. It is what introduced me to some of my favorite skaters, some of my favorite people in fashion. It was awesome. Everybody played it, had universally appraised. It was critically loved by almost everybody. Imaginative, deep, and amazingly addictive, steady, consistent, intuitive, and natural. Enough about me. Let's talk about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Jaw-dropping physicals. Perfect soundtrack. One guy said the looping music quickly becomes incredibly annoying. He was fired. They sacked him. Uh, let's see. GameSpot gave it nines across the board. IGN gave it a near 9.8 out of 10. EGM 8.38 because they're a wet blanket. GamePro a 5 out of 5. It is much celebrated. Personally speaking, um, for me... What I remember of this game was I would, this was quintessentially the game that I would play when my girlfriend would call and we would talk for hours and I was able to just be like, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, that's cool, wow, really? No way, huh? And I was just playing Warehouse. My favorite dude is Kareem Campbell. He's fucking awesome in this game, or at least I think so. But you also have Chad Muska with this cool boombox that he does on the, the grind. You have Bucky Lysick. You have Tony J Jeff Rowley. Bob Burnquist, who has, like, weird lip moves. Tony Hawk, da it's, like, right down circle is the 900. Also has Alyssa Steamer. Awesome. She was, like, it's cool that they've had some women representation in some of their sports games. Finally. Rune Glyphberg had the Christ Air, one of my favorite moves. I will definitely check out the Bones Brigade. Thank you for telling me. Glyphberg, wait, 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 wait. Did he really? Wait, wait, wait. Tonight's the night gonna go out. Well, he's got speed and air. He has the, but he also is wearing like a jersey with a shirt on, and I'm not cool with that. I'm not really into that. And look at this. You could get all these awesome boards. I want it to be a skater so bad. It's all I ever wanted. I thought it would be so great. Warehouse, baby. I feel like... I feel like... DJ Cam Bomb's the way to go. Here we go! What the? F oh! <laughs> we g oh. Big pipe. Big rail. I don't remember his. Hold on, I don't... Oh, fuck. I don't remember his his moves. Oh, yes! <laughs> it was, um... I, I, I'm having fun, though. Look, this is sick. Okay, that's not...
I thought the S was up here for some reason. It's not. All right, hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, it's over there. Shit. I got to Okay. I can do it, guys. Where's the... I can do it. No, I can't. I can do it. Oh! No! <laughs> no! I... They call me the Mac. It may, that's the first three letters of my family name. It's Tony Hawk's Pro Sky. Er. <laughs> Cat. Remembered his move. Did you see that? Did you see that? I know you did. I know you did. That was sick. Even though I Not face planted well. it. Okay. <laughs> oh, the boxes, right, the boxes. Sorry, I was having fun again. Oh, come on. I got it. I got it. Yeah, there's one for all the boxes. One of five. Okay. Finish your tricks before landing. Yes, I'm a f I'm aware. I think it might be better for us to... Oh no! I'm not gonna get it! I'm not gonna get it! Wait! Wait! It's... Underscore. What's there it was the kick flip under flip. Wait, okay, hold on a minute. Also, you know they did a remaster? I did. I oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what? I was I was trying to go up. I don't think Ollie the bum is in this game. I think it's number like Oh, he's not good at that jump. Okay. The sex change. I don't remember that move. That's a sick move. 
I know that in every game I do the impossible like every single time if there's a manual. This is frustrating because. Oh, I think I remember his his grind. I know. I think I remember he had the he had the he had the one where he turned the board uh, on its the dark slide. Maybe he flipped the board upside down and grinded on the part where you normally put your feet. think mine would 100 oh it's just smash the boxes oh those are stat points i'm getting i gotta smash those boxes mine would be some sort of a, a grind all right let's see if i can it's an it's a All right, all right, wait, 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 wait. I can't remember, I can't remember what it was. It's gonna drive me crazy. I think I can go take a look though. Struggling. All right, last box. I think I'm not bad at this game, right? Like, I still remember. There we go. There's my kick. I think it's up down. Oh! It's the Casper slide. I told you. I told you he flipped it upside down. I told you. That's so sick. Okay. That's so cool. Technically Rodney Mullins move. Well, Rodney Mullins my favorite skater ever. But um Kareem Campbell's way up there. There we go. There we go. First place, baby. Oh, that's sweet. What would your guys' skating move be? Uh, my favorite moves in this game is I'm a huge fan of the, the Christ Air. I, I loved going to the, the warehouse and on that little half pipe, I would just do 900 Christ Airs. And I would have so much fun. But I also love Casper slides. And the dark slide is my favorite grind. So I don't know what I would choose, to be honest. The Casper manual. I wish manuals were in this game. Can you... Wait. Can't you, like, level up your character? Or are those orange things the level up? And it just auto-does them for me.
So it did it on it did it for me. Okay. Tonight's the night gonna Okay, wait. Let's go uh check out the school. You cannot do manuals in Tony Hawk 1. No manuals. Wait. Uh. <laughs> Thank you for the nostalgia. My pleasure, man. This map is great. What happened to my music? All right, let me go down up grab. You got it. The Japan Air, baby. Wait a minute. I got to get... Damn it. What's the, I, I thought, I thought I had it. Oh no. This is not the game's music. This is our music because it's heavily licensed to, to use their music. So this is the music of the legendary DJ Cam Bomb that we are borrowing for today. All right, I better get that skate combo. Shit. Sorry, everybody. was up down that's what I thought he's far away that was my fault I, I cag that's a cool name I used to be ape in every single game I ever played I was ape because there was a BC Boys song where he said, I'm the grape ape, and I just, I loved it. And so I was ape in every single thing. You know, the, the amazing thing about this game is just how incredibly sucky I am at it. Is that it's, it's, its level design is so vertical in addition to being just this amazing... Hold on. Ah. God. It has like the obvious things, but it's so loaded with tricks and secret spots. And the, the graphics are still, to this day, great. Definitely playable. Oh man, he was right there. One of my favorites is you can do a pool transfer. You can go pool to pool. Got it. And I think this one has like a pretty cool like grind the three long rails. Oh, 
That was a sick Casper. Oh, yeah, I broke my, I broke my, I broke my nose. New deck available, stats increase, new level, head to the skate park to enter the Windy City Slam. I used to love the after timer trick combos for as long as I could hold out. Yep. It's one of the best. It's one of the best. I'm eating. Entertain me. I'm trying my best. And if you don't like this game, then I can't help you. Actually, I think that... Oh man, the mall. Why is it called a Casper though? Is it because it's a fatal trick if you fall IRL? Actually, I'm not really sure why it's called that. Well, I wasn't paying attention, damn it. I know you have to break the glass on this stage. Here's one right here, right there. Man, playing this game again, Dumpster Burger. I think like replaying this game, one of the things that jumps out to me, it's a sad thing, but, oh, my hair. It's a bit loud, this music for me. It's, it is a bit dated, you know, in a sad way. This is like a modern mall. It's not even, it is still kind of like, oh. There we go, I turned it down on my side. Thank you. It really reminds me of like what used to be in a sad way because it's just not quite the same. You know what I mean? It's fun, but I can tell it's it's an ancient game. And this was legitimately the top of the line. There was nothing better. And now there's, uh, they've definitely made enough improvements on this game so that there is a better alternative. Got my ski, though. God, this is amazing. <laughs> I think you restart at the top. Nope, you just end. Wow. We got them tapes. I want to try, I want to try my Rune Glyphberg. And I want to see if we can pull off a 900. Wrong button. Rune Glyphberg, does he really have it? Yeah, he had the... I, Christ Air is my favorite move, so I want to see. I want to see what we got here. Look at all these wheels that would cost money now. Tony has the nine hundred. Tony has the nine hundred. Rune, I think, has the Christ Air, which I believe is left-right circle. I believe. Do you want purple wheels? It's yours for just sixty dollars. 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 Let's see if we still got it.
Some things never go away. Whoops, I didn't mean to retry. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's go into the half pipe where I spent all my you nights. Did well. So sick. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Cool we cool now, man. I don't even know what his other move was. Probably some kickflip. Or maybe not. Maybe he had two. Maybe? Uh oh! I don't know. <laughs> I just remember the Christ there. That's all I got. What a sick game. Ooh, the finger flip! You're very good at not falling down. Are you being... Are you serious? Or are we making fun of Pete again? I forgot the S. Got it. Got my skate tape. Oh. Okay, well then I fell. As soon as uh, grabbing in this game, you're flying. This game really looks like something. It's awesome, right? Is it possible to do the Japan Air to the Christ Air back to back? Let's find out. I forgot what the Japan Air was. I think it's like... Ada Wong. Okay, okay. I got it. Give me a second. Oof. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can. You can do both. You can do both. Although I did like a weird thing. Okay. Let's also. He might. He also remember these. He had like. Okay. <laughs> you have the plants as well. The 720. Oh, that's so sick. That is so fun. Ah, oh, Rune, why are you wearing such a lame costume? If you just didn't have the jersey with the white shirt, this would be so much cooler, but you blew it. You definitely blew it. I can't be I can't vouch for this. It's the Japan Christ. I can understand how you can play this game while just having a call with your girlfriend. It, it did actually didn't even matter who called. It could be girlfriend, uh, friend, aunt, uncle, dad, whoever. Whoever's... Okay, whoa. Whoever's calling me, it's just... I'm just gonna hang out and play Tony Hawk for six hours. And just spend the night... And uh, she would tell me all these fun things, like... Uh, I don't know, she'd be like, Yeah, I can't believe it, today at school? And I was like, yeah, the waiter should have taken it back. And she's like, are you even listening? And I'm like, oh, I just did it, Japan Air to Christ 27... Tw yes, I'm listening, I'm very sorry. Didn't matter. Ada it is. Let's try out, uh, let's try out our guy, Tony Hawk, really quick. I want to see if we can pull off that 900. And I'll show you guys, I don't think I have enough power to do what I wish I could do, but he might have enough 
air for it? I don't know. He's got speed and air pretty high. What if she was playing Pro Skater 2? I would be so happy. I know she liked the game. I remember her telling me she liked it. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, you're right, the timer is done. What's up, Brett Crumbs? Ah, uh, playing with Mike Hawkwall, calling the pizza guy. It's a good time. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? They, he didn't have enough air for that, and everybody else did? All right, let's try it out. Ready? Tony Hawk time. Okay. Still remember, baby. Still remember. Still got it. Okay, not that good. Switch the 900. Goofy footed. Timer has run out. Next tech Tony Hawk's pro streamer game. Ah, that was fun though, wasn't it? What's up, Breddy boy? Oh, the no. Wait. That's right. The indie nose bone. I loved trying to do the 900 with this because it would look so. The 900, baby. I think he had a kickflip, too. Let's see if we can grab it really quick. Oh, I remembered! I remembered! Can you believe that? Oh, I got it! That's insane! There's no way I should have remembered that. What's up, Brad? Tossing out to Melly as bestie? What do you guys think about that move? There it is, my friends. Tony Hawk's Pro Skate. Impressive how you can recall these moves. I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. I played this game a, uh, a lot. A lot. A lot. And uh, what a waste of brain power, some would argue. Cool but it's fun. Barters! <laughs> oh, yes! All right, one last thing. I promised Conk I'd do this. I promised Conk I'd do this. Oh yeah, what do you guys rate that game? That's an easy one for me, baby. That is easy as it gets. Easy game. Bang, five, 10, 20, 100. I need to put on my express cool hat. What's up, kids? How are you doing today? Who's ready for some ESP and Extreme games? You're talking to me, the Express. Let's ride. You may have seen me on the luge when I was getting sixth place earlier. Well, I'm here to ride and have some power. How do you do? Hell yeah, brudas. We did a whole improv earlier. It was great. I had my luge with me. 
I promised I would check out the mountain bike and the skateboard. I feel like if you guys... I feel like if you guys saw me wearing this at, like, school or something, I think we'd be friend. Rejected Sportster Pete is such a good persona. It is. Is this camera blurry? It's a little bit. That hat is awesome. I'm the Express. Let's try it one more time. Let's try one more. Whoa, what's up, dudes? Oh, man. Hey, wait. Ho, oh, ho, Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. I'm, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 hey. Be careful out there. I was just in South America. Crazy. Got sixth place. 16th, I mean. Well, 60th. There was a six in there, and it was pretty fast. I was on that luge, and I was using my arms, and I was, I was, I was, I was uh, hitting all the guys. And I, uh, you, yo, uh, if you guys want, like after the next race, like I was thinking, maybe like you know, it's pretty extreme, but salad bar, <laughs> all you can eat for like four ninety nine. No. Not extreme enough? That's cool, man. Well, uh, lucky for you, I brought a little bit of Blair's Salsa de la Muerte. What was it? Oh, sorry. De la Muerte con Chipotle. Uh, oh, okay, dude. I'll see you later. Tell, tell, tell the girls I said what's up. All right. But you're, hey, but you're still here. I still got one of you. Uh, we're going to have some... Listen. Tonight... I'm thinking my house, party, hot sauce, Dr. Pepper, <laughs> and we can watch Gremlins. No, wait, wait, come back. No, 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 it's cool. I only have it for one more night. Come back. Boo. Uh, you suck. Boo. 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 Uh, you suck. Boo. All right, I'll see you guys in Italy for the next extreme race. Ooh. All right, I'll re-rinse gremlins. But I can't promise there will be any sauce left. Okay. <laughs> see you, dudes. There you go. That's my improv. It sucks. I don't like this character. This character hurts. <laughs> I hated every second of that. I love coming back to no context booing. Um, I emotionally died. Are you sure that wasn't natural? I'm just glad that Allie didn't see it. I don't think I could bear for her to see my my true. If she when she visits Japan from Melbourne, she's going to be like, oh, dear. <laughs> What happened to you? I'm like, no, nothing. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Have a great night, Run Run. Have a good one. I've been prepping my whole life for this moment. Let's check out uh, the bike. Ooh, this is Extreme 1. I remember this is Extreme 1. They did have to change the name due to licensing issues, which was unfortunate. Time to, like, bikey and boardy. All right, dudes. Like, who's ready to, to hang? Oh, shit, I can pick different characters. Meg is good. Oh, Reggie Costa. He's the bike boy. Let's go. Race it up. Francisco, you'll finish at the Golden Gate Bridge, but the key here is the tunnel. Once you hit it, go all out because you're almost home. Thanks, Susie. <laughs> I could care less about the stream struggling. I can't turn it up. All right, hold on. Red, you got it. Give me a second because. Hold on. I got this. Uh, audio? Audio. Oh, dude. Oh, all right, dudes. Get ready for some tasty vines. That's Donkey Kong. And some real hardcore fun, my mans and dudes. That's... Whoa! 
Uh, red scarf, ask and ye shall receive. Ow! It's that damn annoying mod. All right. Let's ride, my dudes. What's up, dorky? On your mark. Oh, oh. Pedal. <laughs> See you, dorks. How? <laughs> Damn it, my face! Cool borders! <laughs> Check it out! Why am I in 13th? Hey! Oh! <laughs> no! No! Okay, watch this. Bang! Oh, oh no. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. That was... That was so bad. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Boozai. I will, I will, I will contact Twitch about this. This seems to be very confusing. Uh oh! There's a lot of people getting ads who should not be, and it doesn't make sense. But I don't think you were subbed, but you are now. You are now, Cassidy. Thank you, breadcrumbs. Oh, oh. This is so garbage. I'm so slow. If I put my head down, does that mean that I do better? Oh my god! I just... I just... I figured out how to play. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know the difference between like pedaling and holding it. I, I don't know how to play. I think that's my main takeaway. Like, when do you pedal and when do you... Ah, I got that one. <laughs> what the f See you, Lance.
<laughs> Lugers? Get out of the road. Get out of my... Ow. I tripped over his body. is this stage it even gave you a nice did you hear that it gave like the nice little uh ninth oh huh, how is it possible to bike that fast while kicking random skateboarders congratulations we have a new definition for slow you Oh, man. I don't think she meant congratulations. Mamma mia! Ninth place. This is like watching Nathan play Mario Kart. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right. I think Extreme Pete's extremely tired. Oh, yes. That was a lot. Okay. Let's review tonight briefly. <laughs> God, what a wild night. Right? Like, seriously. What a wild night. What a wild two nights. It was a fun stream. It was super fun. It was legitimately the past two nights have been lots of laughs, lots of joking. Um, I am sleepy. I woke up at 8 today. But, like, look at this, though. Even though I botched the wheel up. We still have, we still have Nightmare Creatures, which is not that great. We have Bushido Blade 2 and Rival Schools. We miss, uh, we have Bloody Roar, Pissed Off, did, did NFL Blitz, Jumping Flash, Destruction Derby, Time Crisis, Ridge Racer, Air Guys, God Bless the Ring, and Disruptor, Frogger, and Twisted Metal 2. Personally, personally, I think we still have some really great heavy hitting games left. Air Guys is a big one. Time Crisis, I loved. I love Time Crisis. I love it. Blitz is going to be fantastic. Jumping Flash and Destruction Derby, I have. I uh, didn't miss Twisted Metal. I still have that one. We still have some really cool games. Tonight was the bad game run, other than Spooderman. And, I mean, ESPN was fun, and we had some good laughs with it. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Time Crisis is the game where I'm always saying, reload, re, 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 reload, reload. Right? And sorry about the no primetime streams. You got to wake up early if you want the Pete show. Although, I'll be honest, coming up, by the way, speaking of reload, loaded was a load of garbage. So... I remember Time Crisis having a hilariously bad and fun storyline that I'm hoping we get to experience. That's what I'm looking forward to. So here's the here's the fun. Is that we will uh the next few days kind of roll out like this. Tomorrow, 7, 7.15, around that time, Japan Standard, which is, someone use the the Nate alert, please. Is it, Wait, what's the Nate alert? The... Pete, stop ignoring chat, you muppet. That one? Oh, yeah, I think that might be House of the Dead, Klebe. Um, So here's the, the layout, right? Or the loadout. 
Tomorrow, more PSX fun where we get to hang and bang and play some old school classics. Then the day after, I believe we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out. And TMNT, we're going to play through a couple of the old arcade games. Presumably, we can play that on Fightcade. I hope we can. And, and uh, we'll be playing uh, the arcade one on the Nintendo Entertainment System as we lead into the release of... Who are you playing with on Fightcade? Whoever wants in. Uh, hopefully, Klebing can join. Hopefully, you're my, you're my side-scrolling action Knights of the Round partner. So, it should be, should be fun to play through that. And then... Who knows? After after the TMNT, if we still have a couple more PSX games, we'll do that. And then it's time we turn the page to a new full-time game, right? We we had our palette cleansing this week with retro PSX games. I have absolutely no idea what game I'm going to. Maybe the quarry, maybe, maybe something else, but uh I'll be giving it some deep thought this week. And it rolls right into the end of June. So it's been a super absolute blast what's up gundam uh do you do irl streams or are you just gaming i do irl streams i just got all of my stuff collected on metal maybe it's possible uh the query is not very fun to watch okay then i'm out i i'm gonna watch Allie's. then i'll just watch her vods well cassidy i I'm not sure you were subbed. You may have been. I'm not sure. But it was uh, breadcrumbs. If you're a non sub of the channel, you do get ads. And it said that you were not. And then you were gifted one. But I don't know. There has been some weird stuff. I'll try to look into it as soon as I can. Hey, Pete, have you played Skull Monkeys? I remember that game was insanely hard. Great. More hard games. Is it harder than ESPN Extreme Games? Because I'm pretty much an extreme gamer. But yeah, it was really fun. I really enjoyed playing games. I've laughed a lot the past few days. I hope that you guys have had as much fun as I have been having. Uh, it's just been a blast being able to stream again, honestly. Absolute blast to just hang and bang and play all these games. I've had a lot of fun. Hopefully, we'll keep the train moving, have some fun, hanging out. Two days in a row, the Retro Runback is providing packed entertainment. Big shout, legitimately, to all of the people on the mod team. Thank you for helping. Thank you to Hound3 for the new chat box. It's amazing. I love looking at it. It has a lot of sick colors, and I think it's a great addition to the channel. Thank you to everybody who resubbed, to Toss Some Bits, who gifted a sub, and huge thanks to the people who really... Put it on the line today and and decided to donate directly to this horrific municipal tax fund it is much appreciated thank you to all the lurkers who just swung by through mood on stream or through alex's stream right when the everything started very poorly and remember tomorrow mood on and i will be doing a quiz show of sorts plus we're back out on the open seas lads as we battleship so there you go Mudon will be live in the channel tomorrow, and then we'll chase that with some PSX gaming. It's going to be fun. Thank you to everyone. It's been time to bet the house on Pete again. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and raid someone called Cheebs. I'm ready to see some exciting new content. Have a great day, everybody. Genuinely, have an awesome, awesome time, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Should be a blast. I'm going to go get some. Have a good night, Pete. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, DG. See you, Ponchi. No roaches. No roaches. Let's show some respect. Let's use the egg, Pete, or something cute. Uh, cool Borders cooldown. How about we just say <laughs> to Cool Borders because that game made me. They. Ooh, uh, you uh, suck. Uh, hey, uh. Before you guys go, don't remember, you know, if you want to stay a little longer, I, I got lots of, hey, hey, I've got some uh, ginger ales on ice. Anybody interested? Oh, I got a little cake. Wait, 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 don't go. I'm extreme. I'm extreme. <laughs>